Alrighty, let's do this, guys. So, and do I even have to give a spoiler warning at this point? You guys are about to see what's going to happen. So I'm just going to give you guys a recap, a small recap of what's going on right now. So I guess if you don't want to know what happened last stream, earmuffs, but you're about to see it anyway. So we're playing as Ellie right now. But before all this went around, the game is jumping between different characters. We got to see some of what Ellie was doing going on patrol, and we got to see some of a new character named Abby, who's part of a different group, and she's exploring and trying to find somebody. She's trying to find a man, but we didn't know who it was initially. Um, they're both exploring all this area, and um, Abby gets in some trouble. She gets separated from one of her friends that took her out somewhere to, to see something cool. Basically, what they did was they saw this big town, which is where Joel and Ellie are. And they're looking for somebody there. My assumption right off the bat was, oh, they're looking for Joel. They, they want revenge. Like, they're trying to get this guy that screwed up with the Fireflies and killed so many people and ruined their plans, you know? My guess is that they're from Fireflies. They might not be. But that's my guess. Four years has passed since the first one, so who knows what else could be going on. Um, so Abby's running away from a bunch of infected. She's about to get killed. And then Joel and Tommy show up. They kind of rescue her, but they need to get someplace safe. So Abby takes Joel and Tommy to her group, right? So as soon as they find out who Joel is and he says his name, it confirms it's who they're looking for. And Abby takes a shotgun and basically blows away most of Joel's leg. Um, and the very last thing we saw was instead of just killing him outright, she takes a golf club and starts to smash Joel in the head. So I'm not sure if he's alive, if he's dead, if they're still torturing him. I don't know. So now, and I don't know, I don't know about Tommy. I'm not sure if Tommy's dead or if he's just being held down. Now we are back with Ellie and she is about to run into the same place where that group is currently torturing Joel and Tommy. So yeah, it's going to get bad real quick. Oh yeah, and that's true, Taji. Like, he, that, because of the four-year gap, he could have pissed off so many people. There might be a lot of story that we missed of other traumatic, crazy stuff that happened. So we're gonna find out probably pretty soon if they are fireflies, if they're not, what really happened. Whew. All right, guys, you've been warned. Thank you, Tiny, for the trigger warnings. Let's do this. Wrong button. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we are currently Ellie. And man, I forgot how pretty this game is. Now, I thought Ellie was with her friend, Adina, isn't it? Where's Dina at? Come on. Please be okay. I kind of forget what happened to Dina right now. Joel! Tommy! So we're trying to make it to that base that we saw earlier. Oh, they're splitting up. That makes sense. Yeah. Here it is. So this is the cabin where it's all happening. By the way, this is a pretty sweet cabin. You're okay. You're okay. Hey, can I... Oh, I see some... Are those holes in the slats? I think we can squeeze in right here. And, by the way, I had done some other things with OBS, so I had adjusted the audio, but I tried to turn up the game back to where it was before. Let me know how the voices and stuff are compared to me. Make sure it's balanced, okay? Joel? Tommy? That's gonna be bad. Seems good? Awesome, thank you guys. It's, it's a weird conundrum with audio that I have because what I should be doing honestly is playing the game for 10 or 20 minutes with a recording watch back the recording before I stream and make sure everything's okay the problem with that is I'd be playing the game for 20 minutes without you guys you know I don't want to do that <laughs> yeah, how are we doing on ammo we have seven bullets oh I heard some distant screams what's going on where is that coming from I actually didn't hear it. I just saw the subtitle. At a pool table? I 
Now, realistically, I should be rushing to save people, but whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I got to find as much supplies as I can. We should probably crouch. Shit. Yeah. So she just found out there's a lot of people living here. All these sleeping bags. Oh, check out the shadows. I'm trying to remember what room it was in, where all that was going down. Can you guys hear when it says coughing and screams? I don't, I don't hear anything. Let me, let me turn up my audio a little bit. But now I hear it. Oh, I don't want to see this. Oh, jeez. Why aren't you posted up outside? We didn't think anyone was gonna show up. What the hell did you expect? We gotta get out of here before the whole town's on top of us. Is Tommy dead? You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. Please stop! Please don't do this! Joel, please get up! <laughs> no! 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 They just knocked her out. Okay. I thought we were going to be like a captive or something for a while. Holy crap. We're like not even 10% into this game and Joel is dead. Tommy's alive. Could I sit down, please? Yeah. They really just wanted Joel. Which really makes me think it's just... Uh, 
revenge for what happened with the fireflies in the first game. Oh, thank you, Invisible Llama. We just updated that recently. So, Jesse, if you... Marie wants to make sure oh, you're eating. You guys need a cute moment right now. She can't stop us. <clears throat> Real quick. <laughs> we need some loves in the stream after that. Hi, Jesse. Well, go, girl. We need some cuteness after all of that loss. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Funkin. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Here comes another one. Here comes another one. Yeah. Oh, the big boy. Hi, big boy. We don't get to see you on stream very often. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> Big shovel head. Good old shovel head. Oh, Georgie wants some love too. That, that was Gus. Yes, that was Gus. Come here, Georgie. You want to sing for everybody? Come here, buddy. Come here. Georgie, come here. Come on, buddy. Oh, I think he's feeling a little gimpy. He doesn't want to jump up right now. Oh, you might get some singing anyway. Andy's trying to pick him up. Hi, right, buddy. It's just magnificent. Oh, Georgie. That'll help lighten the mood a little bit after that. Something terrible happens, we need puppies, right? Just to help ease our pain. Let me move my microphone. Ooh, Georgie has a big mood. He's upset about what just happened. Now, I gotta say, personally speaking, I don't find that scene shocking from a story standpoint. Joel did some terrible stuff not just to the people themselves, but to humanity as a whole, based on his actions of the first game. That was very um, selfish of what he did. I understand it completely. He lost his daughter. He basically had a new father-daughter type of relationship blossoming, and he doesn't want to sacrifice that, you know? It means too much to him. But at the same time, like, how can they not retaliate, you know? Which, gosh, this is happening so early. Now it's gonna happen again with Ellie. And all throughout the first game, Joel had said, I've done some bad things. I mean, you have to. To live in a world like that, you can't really be a good guy. You know, you you let your guard down and you let everybody basically walk all over you. You're not going to survive in this world. And she has lost so much. Absolutely. I mean, this whole game almost just feels like lost. The whole series, I guess. In the first game, you lose tests. You lose, uh, what were the... That other group that you met was one of them, Sam and Henry. Was that it? I forget their names, but yeah, there's just so many people that you lose. Yeah, seeing Ellie's reaction, just because, I mean, to Ellie, Joel's been almost invincible, except for that one time when she had to help him out, you know, he's kind of taking care of so much and she's telling him, get up, Joel, just get up, you know, like they can't do this to you. You're Joel. But no, it was it was too late at that point. Ooh. Riley. Was that one of the people from the first game? I'm trying to remember Grilled Tomato. That doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, it's a very much a zombie, like basically apocalypse trope, right, Tajay? In the end, we're all kind of hosed. And that really shocked me too, Tiny, that the, the first game was about love, which I can kind of see that, even though there was a lot of pain in that game. And this one is about hate. <laughs> it's like, oh gosh, how dark is this going to get? Oh, Riley was a friend from the DLC. Okay, yeah. And that too, yeah. Even though, I mean, it happened guys before. that we would need to do this smart. We'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. She wants to go find him already. So they just get to get away with this? <laughs> Nobody wants that. Yeah, but that's what's happening. 
What if we get hit by hunters again? Is this you talking or is this her? It's a valid point. If it were you or me, Joel would be halfway to Seattle already. No, he wouldn't. He absolutely fucking would be. Well, we don't even know for certain that they're from Seattle. Washington Liberation Front. That's what you said was on those patches. What if they stole those jackets? That's... What the <sighs> WLF move? What are you doing? You know what? I'm leaving tomorrow. And if you want to come with me, great. I don't think you will. You have no idea what you're walking into. You don't know how large that group is, how armed... I don't care. You can't talk me out of this. Man, the acting and expression of their faces is so well done. Give me a day to talk to Maria. Okay? There's got to be some folks you can spare. And if she won't budge? <laughs> well, I'll figure something out. One day. Please. Fine. Alex! What's going on, dude? Thank you so much for the raid. Let the doggies run around. More puppies. More puppies. <laughs> Let me just finish up this cutscene real quick or find a break. There we go. <laughs> what is going on, Alex Friesman? Great to see you. And thank you, Raiders, for joining. John Cadia, how are you doing, my man? You were playing Last of Us Part 2 as well. How are you liking it so far, Alex? No spoilers, of course, but I wonder how you doing? How are you enjoying it? For a moment, I thought the air raid was in the game. <laughs> hey, Spicy Squire, I could see that. The, actually, that air raid sound is from Silent Hill, which is one of my favorite series of all time. Yeah, we're, we just got past probably the first really shocking scene of the game, and it's pretty intense, Alex. Hopefully we're not further than you. Oh, Brandon, you changed your name. Welcome, Brandon, it's good to see you. I know we get to chat in Discord, but yeah, I, did, I hadn't recognized that name right away. You streamed it farther than me and you're really enjoying it. Nice, cool, so we will not be spoiling anything for you, that's good. I kind of want to, Relentless. If I was to stream Silent Hill games, there'd be a few I would skip. I'd probably skip Homecoming. I'd probably skip Downpour. I definitely skipped that PlayStation Vita game because I wouldn't even know how to stream that. And um, I don't know about Origins, but the rest of them I think are totally worth playing. It would be fun. Maybe maybe like a good October time frame, we can maybe just do some of the series. Maybe like my two or three favorites. I'm not sure, but it'd be really cool. And Shattered Memories. I, that would be tricky because I'd have to set up the motion controls. Or Did that also come out on PlayStation 2? I might be able to play it that way. Oh, Genloop, what's going on? You just sneaked out real quick to see a little bit of your game. I'm trying to avoid spoilers, but it's so beautiful, Gen. This game is fantastic looking. And this is on current gen. This is on consoles that released, you know, seven years ago. I mean, I'm playing on PlayStation 4 Pro, so it's a little bit better, but we're about to get PS5. So just imagine what's coming out next year. Yeah, right now is the worst time as far as spoilers. Yeah, we just saw some really, really gruesome stuff. So, up to your discretion <laughs> as far as spoilers. Probably have to emulate it. It wouldn't work. Oh yeah, with the Vita, mostly we're junk. I do have a Vita. I'm not sure if my Vita has video out. I've never really tried that. If that works, I could technically do it. I just don't think it'd be a very good game to stream in general. It's kind of like a top-down Diablo game with mediocre gameplay. I don't know. All right, so where we left off, Ellie, earmuffs for spoilers, is about to go hunt down that group for what they did. I also have noticed that, oh, we'll see you soon, Jen. Take care, have some good food. 
Um, it seems like this game might have more cutscenes than the original. Have you guys noticed that? Maybe it's just the intro, but it feels like there's a lot more videos, like uh, just full on story, less gameplay. Don't, don't look, Jen, don't look. Man. <laughs> yeah, poof. <laughs> Hope you didn't see anything too bad. I love the story. We stop at his house before we leave. No complaints. Just, just something I noticed. We just have to pick something up. Okay. I love the Metal Gear Solid games, so I definitely have no problem with a lot of story. I couldn't get to the horses. Looks like Tommy took one. Now Maria's got the stables locked down. <sighs> Fucking Tommy. Is he trying to stop her? something else out on the way. A car or a horse or something. Okay. So it sounds like... This makes getting to Seattle a lot harder. Dina's going to come with us. Then it's going to be harder. You can still change your mind, you know? I know. Just don't want you to feel like you have to. Ellie. You go. End of story. Aww. Even that little thing, how when I was walking and controlling, Dina slowed down you a little bit. Your backpack. Just to grab our I shoulder. The east gates. I figured we'd want to slip out that way. Just cool little touches, you know? Dina fan club rise. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, rabbit. Oh, look at this. All the flowers and everything. That's really nice. So he was definitely well liked in the community. do it. Hey. What do you need? I'll, I can go get it. I want to do it. Okay. I'm okay. Come on. I'll hang out down here. Thanks. I don't think we've ever even seen the inside of Joel's house. It looks so nice. Video games are cool, guys. It's ridiculous. It seems like just yesterday we were playing Action 52. Look at what we're on now. An important mug or something? Or maybe just owls in general. That's cool. Okay, so, so some new stuff in here we didn't see before. So she did draw a giraffe, I think, earlier in the game when we were playing. Was Eugene in touch with the other fireflies? Did he hear about me and Joel? No, he would have said something. My mouth tastes like iron. Wounds break open as I sing. Uh, you were you were the soft twang of nylon, the smell of wood oil. Fretful. Guitar strings with iron sound brighter. They mistook your resonance and left me with rust. All I have is our last conversation. 
looping like a dead progress or chord protection. I think it's chord looping like a chord progression. Harmonies in blood. WLF Washington Liberation Front. Who are they? Is that who got us? Tommy said her name was Abby. Why? This is a really cool way to catch up on story too. I like that. Yeah, I thought you were going to stay in the other room. Oh, in the um, journal she did, yeah. Yeah, why did she scratch out the eyes? Just couldn't stand to look at it? Hurts too much, maybe? Pretty sweet house he has. I wonder if we'll see any Easter eggs from other Naughty Dog stuff. Oh, here's all the guitars. I always liked it when games had these like slower moments to kind of let you stop and smell the roses. All the promises at sundown. I meant them like the rest. Oh, he does like wood carving too. That's really cool. Yes, very good point, Phantasma. I love that game. Uh, what Remains of Edith Finch? Hmm, I could see that, Tajay. Yeah. And the eyes, it's kind of like the soul to somebody. You know, you really get a feeling for somebody by looking into their eyes. So I could see how that would be hard to relive and think about. I did, Grilled Tomato. Yeah, we actually completed that whole game during the 12-hour stream. That was like, feels like a long time ago, doesn't it? We have to do another one of those. Oh, is that his jacket from the first game? And if you had lost a parent or something, like these kind of scenes would just hit that much harder, you know? Oh, I remember that. Is that a gun under there? It is. Yeah, the detail on these objects and everything is ridiculous. What's going on? I'm scared. <laughs> Why do we have to come down? She knows this is important to us, so... There's gotta be something big. What did she find? Oh, that's really nice, Tiny. Temperatures are going back to normal now. Uh-oh. Maria, I'm headed to Seattle. I wish I could let it go, but I can't. I have to bring these people to justice. Ellie's gonna try to come after me, but stop her. Take her guns, lock up the horses, maybe lock her up. Buy me some time so I can end this. Love you always, 
Tommy. He's gonna get himself killed. He should have taken me with him. You should have given us a group to go after those fuckers. I wish I could. You gonna try to lock me up? I'd prefer that you stay. That's not gonna fucking happen. I'd prefer that you stay, but I know you better. You going with her? Dang. Yeah. So you're just gonna sneak out of here? Hmm? Yeah. On foot? Yeah. I told the stable to let you out with your horse. Grab some ammo, too. Thank you, Maria. Just, uh, do me a favor and bring my dumbass husband home in one piece, please. All right, get going, you're, you're losing light. That really sucks, Phantasma. Sorry to hear about your, uh, your ankle. That's no bueno. Now have a good shower. I think, Tajay, they've probably gotten a lot closer in the meantime. Now we're in Seattle, day one. Um, in the first game, they weren't really that close. Like, they hadn't talked for a long time. But I imagine in the last four years, Joel and Tommy probably got a lot closer. This hunter was on top of him, drowning him. And Joel couldn't get to his gun. Jeez. Were you scared? Well, I, I didn't even think. I just, I just ran in there, grabbed his gun, and shot the guy in the face. How old were you? Fourteen. How old were you when you first killed someone? Are we talking infected? No. Fully conscious, non-fungal person. Non-fungal. Ten. Wow. What happened? Guy was coming at my mom. I stabbed him. Shit. You got me beat. Look at these graphics. Yeah, I'm a real badass. Jeez. So how lost are we? Uh, we're not. Uh-huh. Hey, have a little faith. I'm glad to hear you didn't break it, those crazy Fantasma. cannibals you said you and Joel ran into? They came after you guys once. Maybe these WLFs are connected to them. No. It didn't seem like the same group. Maybe those black market smugglers back in Boston? Do you not? Joel crossed a lot of people. I don't see the point in guessing. Okay. At least until we find out more information. And also a big part of it too, Tajay, is Tommy understood what was going on. I think Tommy was the only one that Joel told what the situation was with the fireflies and everything, so he really knows what's happening. This area is just so dense. It looks really cool. The way the lighting bounces off of everything. I can hardly tell what direction to go. <laughs> yeah, and all the little wildlife and everything. Ellie, cars. Yeah, I'm getting close. Start keeping an eye out. Got it. L1 to gallop. There we go. Now we have some room. Where do I go? Guessing this way. That's one kind of cool thing games can do is they can make it look like you have no idea where you need to go because it's so realistic Here looking. We go. Guess I was wrong. Turns out you do know where you're going. <laughs> Those windows are looking like they need a good break. It. Can we just get off our horse at any time? I don't know. You can, okay. I 
Because I'm not sure which windows I can actually break. She's cutting it though, check that out. Putting little marks on the car. That's kind of neat. Not a breakable window. I guess we'll follow traffic. I can go either way. Oh, that says Seattle. We're going the right way. So interesting that this said Seattle Day 1. I guess it's not going with the season motif that the first game did, where it said, like, summer, winter, fall. Let's check out this building over here. <laughs> we should complain to Naughty Talk. This was not absolutely 100% realistic. Yeah. I demand my money back. Actually, it's kind of funny. In a game like this, like I don't really mind any time there's a little bit less interactivity. Um, playing a VR game, that feels weird. When certain games let you interact with everything and grab everything, and then other games, you just can hardly touch anything. Like, your hand just phases through things and you can't manipulate objects. That kind of bugs me. Yes. Got another trading card. Sure, yeah, we're trying to avenge you know, Joel's death and do all kinds of stuff, but we got to get those trading cards. Society of Champions. I used to get some Marvel cards like this. I think they were flare cards. My buddy was more into um, collecting them than I were, but they were pretty cool. You stopped at day two, Alex. Okay, where are we? <laughs> this map does not have a U-Har here. Well, we're on the five right now. So we're probably either at the very top right there or the very bottom. Oh, check this out. Here's a more detailed downtown Seattle map. Did you collect flare cards like Marvel flare as well, Tajay? You have the complete collection. That's probably the year that I might have been collecting them, too. That's awesome. I only had a few. Like, I probably bought a handful of packs. I had a buddy that had a binder just full of them. I don't know that he ever got them all. But they were just... They looked really neat. You know, they had great artwork. It was fun to look at the stats and all the descriptions. Anything good in there? Found an old tourist map. Well, that's something. Oh, nice. You had an ant that worked there. So did you get a pretty good deal? What a twist! <laughs> See, we had some localized Spider-Man cards, and there was a magazine, Spider-Man Heroes and Villains. You got 300 cards over time. That's awesome. So they were all Spider-Man universe-related cards? Spider-Man's my favorite of all the Marvel stuff. Wow, look at that. That's a cool-looking waterfall. My wife collected a bunch of Pokemon She's cards quiet. as well, Grilled Tomato. Think about how well we hide our luckouts. I know. That's what scares me. I just want to see if I can break into any of these. I assumed it was square to break windows. I kind of forget when I was breaking windows which button it was. I think it's square. There was also a brief period of time I collected basketball cards. Back when uh, the Bulls were basically dominating. I was a big fan of like the mid-90s Chicago Bulls era. And then after that, I kind of fell off of basketball. We are doing it right? Okay. I, I think a lot of them you just can't break. Was I breaking them as Ellie, or was I breaking them as Abby before? Because Abby, I think she could just rip right through the cars if she wanted to. <laughs> Abby broke? Oh, that makes more sense. She's just punching infected heads off left and right. Don't mess with Abby. You did break some as Ellie? Okay, so it is possible. Trespassers. Whoa. Is that the QZ? Yep. Watch the high spots. 
That says WLF. This looks like the right place. Let's just march our horse right in here. We could try shooting one. This is a terrible place to shoot Phantasma, but I'm also curious. Let's let's go back a little bit. Maybe I'll be a little bit safer here. Look like there's some cracks up there in the wall up above. Cracks, you say? Oh, I think she's talking about right there. Okay, let's try this real quick. These bullets are important. This better do something. Dang it, bullet blue friendos. But it's a cool looking crack. Oh, I don't have enough ammo to reload. And yeah, a lot of games don't even do anything when you shoot or attack something. <laughs> oh no, my ammo. I, I had a, quite a few friends growing up that collected a lot of Magic the Gathering stuff, Tasha. I never did, but I got to watch them play it and saw a lot of their cards. I want to say one of my friends even had that really rare, expensive one, the Black Lotus. Is that the name of that card? I think it was like really overpowered. <laughs> because of that, you'll probably get eaten by a clicker. He's just waiting outside the building for me. Stages of infection. So in case you missed the first one, this is kind of cool. Uh, stage one. Uh, cordyceps have taken over the victim's motor functions. Fast and agile. Stage one infected usually travel in packs. Do not let them swarm you. That happened earlier in this game. Stage two infected. Uses environment to hide and ambush victims. Will frequently flank and attack from behind. Approach with caution and check your surroundings. Stage 3 infected. Completely blind, acute hearing. Uses echolocation to seek out prey. Keep your distance. Stage 3 infected are known to... Or are known for their ferocious attacks and are extremely lethal. So those are clickers. And then stage 4, the bloaters. Um, rare but dangerous evolution. Stage 5 infected, incredibly strong and capable of throwing what does that say? acidic projectiles. Do not engage unless absolutely necessary. Okay. So in case you missed the first game, there's like a little backstory on the different monsters we're going to see. Let's see, the Black Lotus is one of nine of the most expensive cars, known as the Power Nine. Let's see, I don't remember runners being in packs in the first game. I don't really remember that either, Phantasma. I mean, usually there'd be like two or three of them in a room, but I wouldn't really call that like a pack. And welcome back, Tiny. Hey, can't tell. Have we ducked the trolls? We had a little bit last stream, but nothing too bad. Nothing too bad. There, I mean, the most they can be is a slight temporary annoyance. And you just sweep them under the rug, and they go away because they get bored. Anything good in there? Pretty picked over. And good to see you, Cantel. How you doing? Happy Sabbath day. Got a note here. When you get to the gate, look for the soldier named Kieran. Tell him I sent you, and then give him the kilo, and he'll get you inside the wall. Good luck. We might need that information. The nice thing about them writing an entire essay, Phantasma, is it would get banned and off of the chat before I even had time to read it. Oh, you're tired right now, Cantel. Emotionally tired more than physically tired. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Cantel. Hope that uh, it's nothing too serious and that things get back to normal. That's never good. Are these cages? Sure, looks like Holding it. Holding cells. Soldiers had them in Boston too. I'm not sure if my friends had the original Black Lotus Tajay. I would I would think so because of the time frame, but maybe not. Let's 
Ooh, play some Breath of the Wild Tiny. That was such a good game. Okay, I think they've explored all this stuff. Considering buying a lightsaber. Do you mean like the ones at Disneyland? Those really expensive ones you can customize? I've never done it. I've seen them being made, but I've, I haven't done one myself. It's really cool. Too expensive, but really cool. All the customizations you can do. And they, they seem like they're pretty high quality from what I've heard. I mean, for that price, they better be, right? Okay, I think we're ready to climb up here. I think she was talking about that break right there. So how are we getting up there? Oh, and your hands are itching. <laughs> That's no good. Are you having an allergic reaction too? Can't tell. We had somebody earlier that was dealing with cherry allergies. I think it was um, grilled tomato, right? Okay, oh, we have some more information. Still crossing out the eyes. Oh, wait a second. I have an idea. Or I have a... Assumption. I think she's trying to get the eyes just right. She's having a hard time doing it. Okay, Idaho Falls. Dina caught three jackrabbits tonight. She has these traps. Um, her sister taught her how to build. They're fucking effective. My appetite hasn't come back yet. Trying to force food down. Twin Falls. Found a camp along the highway. If it was Tommy's, he'd probably only... Or it's he's probably only a day or so ahead of us. This will be easier for me to read. <laughs> uh, we're getting close to Boise. Dean is pushing to go around. I don't want to add two days to her trip. These hunters tried to ambush us. Fuckers didn't stand a chance against us. We were scavenging for supplies, and I was looking at Dina. I felt a deep appreciation for her coming along. I really love her. Aw. Are you heading out? Thank you for the lurk, Alex. Get some good sleep. Oh, you have a friend to meet at noon. Oh, how exciting. That'll be cool. Well, take care, dude, and thank you again for the raid and for the lurk. Baker City. We saw a pack of wild horses today. They were skittish, and then Dina offered them some of the fruit we collected. They even ended up following us for a bit. Wish I had a camera. I've never seen her smile so wide. For like half a day, I wasn't thinking about the WLF or Joel. Feeling guilty about that now. It's good to get your mind off things from time to time. We, we all have way too much stress in our lives, right? I'm struggling to sleep. Keep seeing him in my head. Dina seems to be sick. I think I caught a cold. I feel calmer with her lying next to me. I want to do something nice for her. Yakima. Found another camp along the highway. Can't be sure it was Tommy, but we haven't seen other people in two weeks, so... Fingers crossed. Trespassers killed on sight. How many of you are there? How many people have you killed? <laughs> that epic Black Mirror handwriting, right? Um, sure, I'll take a hint. See way in. Ellie, what about the roof up there? On that side, okay. I was going to say, I think I've spent too much time looking around. So this is where the cages were, right? You know, one of my favorite implementations of a journal in a game was Little Misfortune that we streamed not too long ago. I thought that one had a really cool journal system. It was just ridiculously cute because it was from a kid's point of view, you know? All right, can we climb this thing? How are we getting up here? Ellie, what about this? Looks like she's already trying to get on top of something. Where is she? I could hear her, but I can't see her. Let's see, can we climb on the cages and get over there? I don't think so. Oh, you got to go. Kath, you got your D&D &D game. You'll catch you next time. Oh, take care, Kath. Enjoy your D&D &D game. Are you DMing this, or are you just... um? Participating. Oh, she already got up there. How did she do that? What did you climb, Dina? I need to know your secret. 
Does she jump across? Let's try this. <laughs> Not even close. You're just a player in this one, Kath, but you're DMing another one. Nice. What is this thing? Looks like a turret used to be here. Okay, well, I can climb up here, but that doesn't really help me get over there, does it? Oh, maybe I can climb on top of those cages from that other structure. Ouch. Oh, I'm gonna do your own stream. Have a great stream, Kamashika. Thank you for dropping in and saying hi. Always good to see you. Oh, here we go. Climb up this. No. How about the truck? There we go. Then on top of these, right? Now we're doing it. Yeah, the, the clumsiness, it does feel pretty realistic. I mean, not that I could do any of these things, but it Dina, feels very weighty, up here. Okay. which I appreciate. Go, Ellie, go. I'll oh, keep yeah. an eye out. The animation Just is see fantastic, if you can get the gate isn't open it? From the other side. Sounds good. So now we have to find a way to help Dina get up. Yeah, I mean, Naughty Dog, they really pour their everything into these games, and you could definitely tell they put extra love into every detail. Or extra overtime, depending on how you look at it. So let's cross here. Uh oh, I can fall there? That's not good. Um, I'm thinking I need to jump over there. Maybe we have to get inside and then open the gate for Dina. Oh my gosh, am I supposed to make that jump? I don't know if I can make that jump. I don't see anything else to do, guys. All right, because I think I think that's the gap right there we're supposed to get into. Oh my goodness! I thought I was gonna die. I'm good. Just almost died. Gosh. I wonder if this game is going to give people with issues with heights some triggering moments, too. Where are these fuckers? You know, we could be close to some people. Maybe I should use my spidey sense just to make sure. Oh, I do that all the time, can't tell. Um, I think I can jump to something, and no, the game, it looks like you can jump there. You're not supposed to. Ouch. Oh, that's right. In that snowy part. Right, Phantasma? Yeah. Abby did not enjoy that at all. Hey, a brick. Okay, so we can get through that gate. But let's look around here first. Could be some more supplies. There's a bottle. Looks like we can get in here, too. <laughs> Maybe try not to break her poor legs. I didn't even take damage. She can... She's like a cat. Nice and stealthy, John. Nice and stealthy. <laughs> Only because I saved. That's another thing, is I... I, I should save pretty frequently here. Um, 
I had read kind of like a general tips thing about this game, and I've heard that this game is pretty generous with the autosaves. Oh, this looks like some kind of instructions. Okay. I wonder when this was written. Um, but it could put you in a bad point where it might do a checkpoint, but you have no ammo. So it's good to have your own saves in case you need to go further Saravena back. Saravena base. That's something. Okay, got a big operation coming up, and Isaac wants us to scavenge any remaining supplies from downtown. Take any gas from the courthouse garage and dome, and take them to the safe house and Saravena base. So what is this? Looks like a bunch of codes. My guess is they're constantly changing the codes on the gate. Or it's just, no, it's just a different code for each gate. Okay. We're probably going to need that very shortly. Oh, at the start of each encounter? That's really cool. So if you do die, you don't hardly lose any progress. I do really appreciate that in games. So we might need one of those codes right here, honestly. Wait a second, can we just break a window and get out the other side? Oh, we can just walk right through this door. Never mind. Now that's a generator. This will make a little bit of noise. Oops. There we go. Now, what do we have to plug this into? I kind of have a chicken before the egg problem. I don't even realize what I need it for exactly. Maybe something outside the gate? Probably right here. There we go. Oh, shit. What a terrible way to die, right? Okay. Alright, so we can't just open it there. Um, oh, what's down here? Ah, switches and buttons. I like it. That's really funny, Relentless. It's just like... Makes you feel like the game is deeper than it is or something. That's really weird. Fake mechanics. Hey. Everything okay? What was that sound? I got that gate open. Gotta figure out this one now. Well, we believe in you. Thanks. I've been really close, Max, to getting an, a shock like that, but it's never been anything that actually hurt me, you know? More just like the sparks. I've seen the sparks for certain things I've done. Okay, so we still have to get the gate open. How do we control that? Oh, a VCR shocked you, Max? That sucks. So it was just like an exposed cable? And you just kind of grab the actual wires? Got some more parts. I oh, forget that I have a flashlight sometimes. Here we go. Dang it. Oh, that's so scary, Max. Did you have to go to the doctor? Get checked out? Okay, so that makes me think we need to get power to this structure as well. There we go. Is that cord going to reach? I don't know. Or is there a second generator around here? About ten years ago. <laughs> That's true, can't tell. I mean, yeah, a lot of times players do that to themselves, you know? One of the... Nope, that's as far as that goes. Look at that 
physics, though, on that. That looks cool. One of the only mechanics in a game that I've played recently that I really, really didn't like was, um... Oh, wait, is there an another way to feed it through here? Hey, here we go. Let's toss it over. This is awesome. Um... When we were playing Telling Lies, I hated the fact that the, um... You had to rewind all the videos to watch the entire thing, and that it was only one side of a conversation. I understand why they did that. I just didn't like it. It made me think her story was a better game. Even though I think Telling Lies had a better story overall. Oh, that barely makes it. Okay. Alright, let's try opening that up. Oh no, funny thing. Hopefully that lamp didn't get you too bad. Um, the only times I've ever really been in a situation where I think I really could have hurt myself is I did have to rewire some electrical outlets for our washer and dryer. Because, you know, it has like those big pronged things. And I had a really old dryer. And um, I basically had to make it, I think it went from like a four pronged thing to like a three pronged thing or something. And yeah, you have to shut off all the power and... I was using testers to make sure I wasn't going to kill myself. Things like that are a little scary. Yeah, her story was just one-sided, but you you got the entire story. It's hard to explain. I don't know if you played Telling Lies, but it was a similar mechanic where you would type in words to get a video sequence to watch. But in Telling Lies, you would see one person's side of a conversation. Let's say it was a five-minute video. Two minutes of it were going to be silent because it was the other person talking. So you had to sit through that five minutes and just try to fast forward through all the silence, trying to wait for the person's mouth to start moving so you could watch it. And then after you've seen that, you would try to find the other video, which was the other side of the conversation. You do the same thing. You have to fast forward through the silent parts and then try to piece it all together. I could see it being interesting, but I personally preferred how her story did it, though. Okay, oh, we need the passcode. Can I bring up my menu right here? Okay, so this is main gate. I gotta bring up my inventory. 0512. It is the same devs. And by the way, you guys should check out their Steam page. I forget the name of the company, but um, I think if you go to Steam and you just look for her story, you can find the developer. They have a new game coming out. The title is blocked off. Much of the description is blocked off. Um, it's just going to be interesting. I don't know what they're making, but they're working on something. They're being very cryptic about it. I kind of like the cryptic Steam page. Something about mermaids. I don't know. Okay, zero, five, one, two. Yes. Oh! I was very frightened for that horse for a second. Let's get out of here. That crash was pretty loud. I would have been pretty upset if that horse got crushed. An FMV game with mermaids. Could be interested. Now what? Could be very interesting. I found a note back there. Had some codes on it. it says there's a WLF safe house at some place called Saravina Base. Saravina. So we find it? Hopefully we find our first WLF. Get them to talk. Go from there. Let's do it. Okay, so we're probably following the five. Oh, wait, we have a map. Can I look it up? What? I guess she can't rummage through her pockets or her backpack when she's riding. Um, let me check out that map real quick. Does this have anything to do with Saravina base here? Pinnacle Theater, Botanical Gardens, Japanese Garden, Aquarium, Ferris Wheel. I don't see anything about Saravina on here. All right, onward. What does that say? <laughs> Fuck. Fedra? Is that what that says? Oh, oh shit, look. 
There it is. Never mind. Saravina Hotel. That's huge. That's gotta be it. That was quick. Here I am looking through the map, trying to find out where I'm going. Away past this, uh, fuck Fedra gate. Very creative. Gets right to the point. Let's get closer. Okay, here we go. This game is full of generators, guys. The first game had a couple. Oh, it's out of gas. Ah, it's out of gas. God damn it. Well, what do we do now? Oh, shit. The note. What? The note mentioned that there's gas in the courthouse garage and the dome. All right. Courthouse garage and the dome. So what's the plan for finding these places? We ride around and see what we see. You think Tommy came through here? He did. That sounds like how I play games. We're just going to ride around and see what we find. I'm going to lurk for a bit. You're kind of tired, so I'm going to take a quick nap and then get back on stream. Oh, Grilled Tomato, enjoy your nap. I wish I could nap. That's the one thing I can't do. Even though I can sleep very well at night, I can't nap during the day. So, yeah, have a great nap. Thank you for hanging out, and hopefully we'll see you a little bit later, depending on how long your nap is. <laughs> I agree, can't tell. I mean, technically, that's how our phones are, aren't they? It's basically a magical map that tells you where you are at all times. Assuming you have GPS turned on. So oh, look how big this we? place is. This is pretty cool. Pretty sure we're here. Okay, that's I'll awesome. I'll mark it up as we go. I love that she does that. Oh, and that reminds me of Silent Hill. Talking about Silent Hill again. You always had like physical maps. And as you navigated and found things, the character would mark, just with marker, on the map, just writing notes and crossing off doors that were locked and things like that. I really enjoy that. Okay, so we're looking for... Oh, they're not really marked on here. Can I flip it over? I think she said the Capitol building. There's the conference center. I guess we don't see it on here either. Yeah, Dina is pretty much our in-game GPS, isn't she? Look how huge what this is. What the hell is. happened out here? I'm guessing the military bombed the shit out of this place. Why would they do that? Well, they would sometimes destroy parts of the city that were lost to the infected. That's crazy. Rebels. That seems like overkill. Well, it usually worked. On the infected or the rebels? Both. Shit. Believe me. You're lucky you didn't grow up in a QZ. I'm starting to get that impression. That kind of looks like a Capitol building, maybe? Ration Distribution Center. Kind of looks like it's boarded up. Ration Distribution Center. In Boston, we'd line up for blocks. And the food sucked. I go crazy. I don't think we can get in there. Some people did. Oh, that's cool. So she marked it. So there might be something important here. Hershey's cream pie. That sounds delicious. I love chocolate cream pie. Also, if anyone puts on a show or movie that was made before 1990, I will immediately fall asleep. Phantasma. I'm usually not a fan of movies that are really old either. Um, however, one of my favorite movies of all time is John Carpenter's The Thing. Have you ever seen that? Made in 1982. What would happen if I'd stayed? The year I was born. Probably just become one more asshole soldier. No way. I can't see you taking orders from anybody. Yeah, good point. I gotta say, I was expecting the Seattle QZ to be a lot more occupied. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're all hot fuel distribution. Oops. Here we go. I interrupted her dialogue. Secured the shit out of this place. Boston always had food shortages. Hungry people get desperate. It is a scary movie. Yeah, if you're not into scary movies, Phantasma, probably not the one for you. But it is really well done. Even though it's an older movie, the the special effects they use for the monsters and whatnot are fantastic. Like they look better than what you see now because it's all real life things. It's not CG. You know. 
which CG is getting really good, but your human brain can still tell when it's something's not really there, you know? Maybe in another 10 years, it'll be completely indiscernible, but we're not quite there yet. It's There's a few jump scares, but I would say it's not really a jump scare heavy movie. It's much more of a very high tension, you can't trust anybody kind of movie. You have to be in a I want to be terrified kind of mood. I would say on a scary scale, that game is, that movie is probably like a seven. Maybe it's not the most scary movie. It's just so well done and interesting. Can you get through? All right, I got you. This is interesting. It feels very open world right now. Shit. Oh. Stay low. This is the first thing we've seen in a while. Staying crouched in tall grass makes it more difficult for enemies to see you. I need this infected to turn around. Looks like there's two of them. Yeah, just two. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I would say it's worse. That was the TV show, right, Phantasma? I, I sometimes get those names confused, because there's a lot of movies with a similar name to that. But I think that was the Netflix show. Nice. Thank you, Dina. Gotta check him for supplies. Nice um, I think it depends on what scares you. If you're more scared of like ghosty kind of stuff, then I would say Haunting of Hill House might be creepier. And if you're more scared of um, more like in your face kind of monster stuff, then I would say the thing might be scarier. But it's also way older, you know? So there's a little bit of suspension of disbelief. Yeah, what if you're scared of everything? Hmm. I mean, Andy's kind of scared of anything creepy for the most part, but certain things trigger her more than others, you know? Shit. Oh, see, this is cool. This is brand new. The whole prone thing, you couldn't do this at all in the first game. Crap, there's a ton of them. Looks like a clicker, too. Is that a clicker? It's hard to tell when they're stationary and not clicking. But it looks like a clicker. It's kind of funny. I want to stream it for you guys sometimes when you say Batman Phantasma, but um, I have the Batman VR game, and that has some genuinely scary parts too. Oh man, it's so hard to sneak up on guys when you're prone. Like impossible. I might need to use a bottle or something. What do I have? I have a brick. Oh, it's coming this way. Get down. Why does it say R2? Oh, well. that was terrible. And I'm dead. <laughs> Run away! Oh, run, Ellie, run. That isn't bad. I was like, why did you say press R2? That was to throw a brick. That's a dead end. Oh, that was close. Oh, crap. Now she's dying. Oh, no. Okay, we're not going to have a no death run, unfortunately. So we got to turn that on now. Bam. And actually, let me reset that counter. I could decrement it that so many times, but that's going to take forever. So let me, uh, let me do it this way. What a bummer. <laughs> reset. There we go. 
death one achieved. <laughs> I know all that time of proning and the game said R2. And I'm like, ooh, is that like some kind of special prone attack? No, I just threw a brick in the guy's face. Not what I wanted to do at all. This is a really tricky scene. There's a pretty good mixture of these guys. Need him to turn around. Oh, oh, oh too close, too close. Come here, come here. Oh, he got out. Oh, and I forgot to add one. <laughs> Touche. I went to zero, forgot to add one. So, like, that one... I kind of feel like maybe I need to get a clicker first. Let's just try to sneak up behind a clicker. This is where the added playtime comes in this game. All the prone movement. Okay, as soon as that guy... Oh, crap. What do you see? As soon as he turns away... Ah, oh, the other one's still looking this direction. I think we might be okay. Oop. We're not okay. We can do stealth from prone. Okay. Nice. Am I not in the grass? What's going on here? Thank goodness for that sound. Okay, now, now, now. It's like a statue, isn't it? We have to get down really quick. Oh, he still saw me. Okay. Quicker first. Quicker first, right? Oh, I walked right into it. I think I pressed X and she did some kind of jump that direction. I could not change course. Dang it. I think that's I think that's correct though. I think we need to take out that one first. There's not a whole lot I can do besides stealth, because I, I literally have six bullets. Like, there's no way I could fight my way through this with all of them. You pretty much have to take out the clickers, because you can't melee them to death. Go on, get out of here. Oh, I might have enough for a Molotov. I might even have a Molotov, Phantasma. I can't kill that one. It's just not possible. Okay, let's see. Do I have a Molotov? I do not. We can craft one, though. Real quick, real quick. Ouch. Right, let's try this out. I, I really... I'm gonna Molotov her. I feel bad, but I want to try to kill a few at once. Crap, I forgot. How do you dodge? Is that triangle? I want to say it's triangle. Oh, jeez. Yeah, just a moment. I gotta try something, Dina. Thank you for distracting them. I think that's all of them. I don't get it. If there were still people around, they would have cleared this place out. Maybe they didn't make it here. Yeah, maybe. Let's find that gas. Maybe I could have just skipped them completely. I don't know. B plus. B plus. I, I, I didn't use any ammo. I only used one Molotov. <laughs> Dina, have a baby. What's up, Pajade? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I mean, luckily, she's pretty much invincible, right? Alrighty. Hey, we're in a church. 
With more cages. Awesome. Hey, Ellie. This place is a synagogue. Well, how can you tell? Oh, not a church. Uh, one, there are menorah decorations on the wall. It's a Jewish thing. And two, I didn't burst into flames just now, so... Burst into flames? <laughs> it's just a dumb joke. Oh, unlike your other ones. You shut it. Okay, I think there's gonna be a lot of supplies in here. This place brings back a lot of memories. My sister used to drag me to a synagogue all the time. I think it's pretty much everywhere, can't tell. Like, you worldwide? You me as much of a believer. Nah. Although but I like coming from a long line of survivors. You mean after outbreak day? That. And the Inquisition. And the Holocaust. My family always made it out alive. Barely. The game has pretty much only taken place in the US, so we don't really know much about the whole worldwide situation. But you gotta assume it's everywhere, right? That's a big propane tank. Found the gas. Just need to get back there. It looks like we might be able to climb over that. It's yellow. Always look for the color yellow. Oh, shit. Latches on the other side. All right, let's see if we can climb over this. Can't get over that. Oh, here we go. Little plates okay. to squeeze through. And more ammo, thank goodness. Okay, so let's try to open this. I guess we don't have to open that. We're already on the other side. So yeah, we just need this to climb over there. And actually can't tell as well. So this is the second game, of course. This takes place roughly four years after the events of the first game. So this has been going on for quite a while. And the Here first game... Didn't the first game take place like... God damn it. Seven years Thanks. after the original? Or when the, when the virus started? It's empty. That sucks. Now what? Come on. That's lame. We'll try our luck at the courthouse garage. Let's get out of here. All that work and nothing. Or game one was 20 years after it started. So yeah, like 24, 25 years. Jeez. Hey, through here. Okay, so then she said we should check out the garage. Do you still pray? Sometimes. Really? When? I said when we left Jackson. I said when at Joel's grave. Sometimes I just say little ones to myself. So I had a question for you guys. What do you guys think? I meant to bring it up I think it calms me. on Discord earlier. It helps me put things in perspective. It's a way to deal with grief. A way to show respect. Just a sec. It's what I know. Let me just shine this flashlight right in your eyes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. She actually reacted to me flashing the light in her eyes. Hold on. I gotta do it again. Now she's like blind and walking away from me. Hey, she picked up some oh, uh, ammo. That's cool. So check this out. Right now she's fine, but let me aim this directly in her face. It's like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, first that. So, sorry, here's my question for you guys. Do you guys think that we should block a bunch of words pertaining to the game? I don't know if it's going to block it for everybody. I think VIPs might still be able to say it. I'm not sure. But we could block certain things, like names of characters in the game, so that random people that come by... Um, 
they just can't say what they're trying to say. Or they're going to have to like go out of their way to try to spell something out, which will block a lot of random spoilers. If it does make it so VIPs and a lot of you guys can't say the words, you would actually have to um, kind of get creative, you know, like put weird spacing between the names and things like that to make it work. But we could potentially just block all the names of the characters in the games, just so people that come in and try to be, you know, just try to, try to ruin things. They, they have a harder time doing it, basically. And we could just use initials. Yeah, that would work. We can have our own little secret code. Yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. So maybe uh, maybe during break? What time is it? 1.50? Maybe during break I'll do that. So if you guys could, in the Discord or something, if you could shoot me a message with... Um, and block all the elite speech. Yeah, if you guys could give me kind of like a list of names that would probably be good to block, even misspellings like that. Um, I can kind of do that during the break. Might make things easier on uh, our mods as well, for sure. Yeah. And he's like, did you get another jerk? What now? Bet we could use that. Oh, so now she's opened this gate. We got to use this to get up higher. Okay. Now, luckily, I can still say the names, Kentel. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, obviously. So I'll still use the names just to kind of say everyone's on the same page. But when people are chatting, I'll try to read it out, I guess, so that you kind of know what's going on. Yeah, you've been very quick. Thank you again, Relentless. This way. Right behind me. What is this? Private Miller. Joel Miller? Um, we got fresh intel. There's an active WLF hideout on Spring and 5th. Grab any available soldiers in your sector and head out... Uh, or head to the hideout ASAP. Execute any suspects, secure the location, and await my arrival. Sergeant Ward. Probably not Miller. It's probably not Joel Miller. I think they said Miller, didn't they? It could be. What do you think of this? What if he was doing something else that we didn't know about? Wait, could I flip that over? Hey, she found a rope. Just a sec. I want to check that note again. I might be able to flip it over. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, Relentless in mid-conversation. She's like, so, as I was telling you guys, wham! And then just ban somebody. We were doing this and this and this. and <laughs> That is one good thing about... Um, playing some of the more obscure games that we do, we never have to worry about that kind of stuff, you know? And if anybody ever did drop a spoiler, it was usually on complete accident, you know? You definitely don't get so many trolls in the obscure games. Let's make sure we're not missing any goodies here. What's this? Oh, this is the Torah. The what? Uh, it's, it's scripture. It's like a... Like a Jewish We're getting Bible. a little religious lettuce lesson. My sister would have flipped for this. The one we used in New Mexico was half burnt. All right. Well, at least they didn't just chuck everything. Okay, I think it's time for a rope. And that's true, too. For people that are not very familiar with all the names and stuff, you might see a spoiler, but, like, it won't register, you know? Like, they might say, so-and-so does this, and you'd be like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bet I can get to the other balcony with this. <laughs> Ellie, careful. It's okay. It's holding... Okay, so we're trying to get to this side, I believe. This would be so fun and so dangerous at the same time. I mean, what's funny, Cantel, if you tried to spoil the plot of Black Mirror, 
<laughs> it's so crazy, none of us would even believe it, right? <laughs> We're just like, what are you talking about? Come on, Dina. Right. And uh, that's the thing. I hardly ever get offended by people that do that because it's, it's two things. It's either a bored little kid, which... Do something better with your time. Or it's just a really sad and depressed individual that just wants to screw things up for other people. And I just kind of feel sorry for them. Nine times out of ten, somebody's going to bully others or try to ruin other people's good times because they're not happy themselves. 5774? Are we in the future? No, doofus. That's a Hebrew calendar. For the new year, my sister used to give me an apple dipped in honey. Ugh, now I'm craving it. We need more text. <laughs> Ooh, that Elaborate. Does sound pretty good. Jewish holidays are all about food and celebrating not getting annihilated by our enemies. A long line of survivors. Food is good. Exactly. Food is life. Oh, I like that relentless. Yeah, it's okay to not like things. It's okay, but don't be a dick about it. <laughs> Let other people enjoy things. Always fine to have an opinion. Lieutenant Torres, seven... Uh, 70 years ago, my grandfather fled Germany with his family as World War II began. He escaped thanks to my kindness and bravery of a Polish family. And so the wheel turns, and the cycle continues. Tonight, my family has packed our belongings, and due to your kindness, we will be leaving the city escorted by your brave men. Thank you for helping me preserve what we could of our shul. It is difficult to leave our home behind, but in the end, it is people, living people, that matter. You bear a heavy burden on your shoulders, and I hope our late-night talks were of some comfort to you, if I can leave you. We can. Oh, we can flip this one. If I can leave you with one thought. I thought that was a weird way to end a sentence. Um, for every turn away from a better world, there is often a stronger correction towards it. Do not lose hope for the future. As the old saying goes, it takes but one candle to dispel the darkness. May God watch over you always. Rabbi Siva Sounders. I hope you got where you were going. One thing that's kind of neat that these games have done in the past is as you keep reading these notes, you can find notes that are related to other notes in different places and kind of follow someone else's story, you know? Okay, now that we're up here, I guess we're climbing this way. <laughs> Yeah, and very similar Phantasma. Like, I'll definitely tell you when there's things that I don't like. I'm not all rainbow and sunshines, but I'm just going to tell you my opinion and just kind of leave it at that. I'm not going to tell other people why they're wrong, because you're not wrong. It's an opinion, you know? Everybody's allowed to have one. You could not agree with it, but it doesn't make it wrong. <sighs> okay. Cross the dome off the list. Thought that was gonna hurt me for a Let's second. Go find the courthouse. It might be worth grabbing some supplies before we press on. Grabbing some supplies? I thought I already explored everywhere. Okay, so we're back where we started. Do we go up here? I don't remember if I did. I don't think so. Well, hello. What is this? A stun bomb to stun multiple enemies and finish them off with strike attacks. This is cool. What is that? I don't exactly know what makes a stun bomb. And we have the recipe for it, too. So that's new. The first game did not have these at all. Is that a candy bar? Score. No, it's ammo. <laughs> You can equip one gun per holster. Additional guns are stored in your backpack. 
Oh, we have 11 bullets for that. Don't eat it, John. <laughs> it's bad. Lots of iron, though. Lots of iron. Um, so that's one of the first upgrades we need to do is to uh, get additional quick spots for our guns because that's very useful. It's so hard to use your backpack and switch ammo it's peaceful or switch here, guns. It's weird being in a QZ and not hearing trucks or gunfire and explosions. My sister always avoided QZs. That's probably why. Okay, so we're going she straight ahead more more paranoid. to the right. She'd sometimes wake up screaming in the middle of the night. That's rough. We always had a backpack so we could bail if something happened. Never stayed in one place for more than a few weeks. Oh, look at that flag. It sucked. That looks really cool. It's nice to have a place we call home, right? Yeah. Hey, I think I found the courthouse. How can you tell? Um, see that sign up there? On the building that says courthouse? <laughs> Touche. Oh, wow. Nice work, detective. Mm -hmm. The tricky part is always getting in. Oftentimes the front door doesn't work. Yeah, I strongly... Ob or you object strongly to the so bad it's good because that implies it's a bad game. There are some bad things, but also some things done well. And people normally use the phrase to say like, ha, look how funny the scene is. It's meant to be serious. With scenes that literally have the comic relief music. Oh, gosh. Um, I guess what I would say is when people, I think, when they're referring to so bad it's good, it means it's not boring, you know? Like, it's it's objectively not high quality, you know? But it's not boring, so it's entertaining, I guess. Like, I would say Harvester's like that. It's, it's not a high quality game, but it's so ridiculous that it's entertaining. Where I've played other games that they're also similar poor quality, but they're just straight up boring to play, you know? Which would never get that so bad it's good moniker. But it is kind of a weird um, oxymoron, I guess. So bad it's good. Maybe so bad it's entertaining is a better way of putting it. Yeah, and the game just feels really good, Max. Um, and some scenes, like that. Oh, I hear something. Hear that? I hear it. That chase scene Infected. earlier with it's Abby. The courthouse. That's one of the coolest things I think Naughty Dog has done, from a pure gameplay standpoint. Like that was really exciting to control. Hey, welcome back, Grilled Tomato. Not too much, actually. You took a nap during the perfect time. We went all the way through a church to find gas that was empty. <laughs> so now we're in a courthouse, still trying to find gas. All this for a generator. Okay. What else is in here? Looks like just the clicker. <laughs> My elite platform. You got to be very slow with clickers. Oh crap, there's something back there too. <laughs> Thank goodness. That clicker turned around. I shouldn't have been able to do that. The game was very nice to me. That is just gruesome looking. They look really cool, but that's gruesome. I learned a lot of lessons in Last of Us 1. A lot of very painful, death-inducing lessons. Oh gosh, I thought that was infected right behind me. It was just Dina jumping down. Right, let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. He just turned around. Oh, there's a clicker right there. Crap. All right. That one, uh, I just hope she doesn't turn around right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get this one. I 
told me to toggle my flashlight. That makes me think they want me to use my flashlight. So I'm pretty sure they can't see light. There's a runner. There's a runner. I'll see a runner. Nice and slow. Oh, other way. Even if you make no noise, if the clicker gets close enough to you, it just kind of senses you, you know? Even if it doesn't touch you on accident. Oh, that was so close. She had just started to react. Stealth master, guys. Now, what did Abby say about a runner? Dina. Not Abby, Dina. I did die two times in the same scene. It was bad. <laughs> I had to sacrifice Dina with a Molotov cocktail to take out a clicker. You ever been to a courthouse before? Nope. You're telling me you never got in trouble back in Boston? Oh, I got in trouble. But never landed in a courthouse. Okay, she's going up downstairs. I kind of want to go upstairs. <laughs> Operation Human Shield. <laughs> that was such a bad episode of South Park. Bad is in offensive and hilarious, depending on your sense of humor. Yeah, there was nothing up there. Got to check though. Anytime the game pushes you one direction, I like to look the other direction, just to see what they hid. Got some more cloth. You know, we should try to um, craft some stuff. I can make a health kit right now. Those are always good. I could... No, we don't have enough for a Molotov cocktail. I think it's all we can do right now. What about upgrades? Um, do I have enough for this yet? Increased health. Yes, we needed 60. I was saving up for this. We can finally do it. Wait. I have 74, right? Um, why can't I do it? Hold on. Do, wait, do I have to do this first one? I have 74, but it only shows the first one is unlocked. I'm guessing the game really wants me to do this first. And then I can do the rest. What do you guys think? It's weird. I don't know why I can't learn that. You have to go in order? No! <laughs> All right. Now, of course, I don't have enough to do this anymore. But I also can't do these that I can afford, so I might as well do this one. Okay, faster health kits. That's going to be so much longer now. The first game didn't require that. I think you got to unlock them in any order you wanted. I wonder why they made that change. I'm sure they had their reasons. Maybe they balanced the game that way, where they want needed you to have certain abilities at certain times. Some serious shit went down here. Or maybe they found a bug. They just didn't want to try to fix it. They just, ah, just leave it how it is. It breaks if we do it the other way. Oh, this game still does this, where you have to shake the controller for the flashlight. That's cool. That's the first time I think I've seen that. It happened way more with the first game. The game was rushed. <laughs> How many times was it delayed? Twice? I want to say twice. Ew. Benny. The WLF is winning. The city's going to fall any day now. Unless you quit Fedra, I can't keep you safe. Up until recently, I could almost understand why you stuck with them. But after the Thursday market massacre, ooh, that sounds terrible, um, I don't see how you can call us misguided killers with a straight face. Those people were just trying to get food for their families. And today, they started banishing people for sedition? That's a death sentence. Listen, you still have time. I will vouch for you. Meet me up by Rustin Coffee at 2 a.m. on Friday, alone. Please show up. I know it's scary, but it's the only way. Your friend, Sandra. 
Brought it on yourself, I guess. Fedra soldiers. Check out that wall. Now we're finding out more about Fedra. They were executed. Jesus. They weren't just executed. They shot them to pieces. Maybe bullets weren't scarce yet. Now look at all the Maybe bullet holes. Maybe they deserved holes. it. Maybe. It could be easier. I mean, I think it would be a funny thing if you don't have to account for all the possible different abilities you may have at any time. Of course, part of it also depends on how many of those pills you find, you know? I could totally miss a bunch of pills and just not get any upgrades. And reward exploration. I don't know if you noticed, but Ellie has locked skills that are only open by exploring. I didn't notice that, Phantasma. Hold on. Oh, is that from the training manual stuff? I'm not sure what kind of exploration you have to do. Maybe certain items that you find? That's kind of cool. I don't think the first game had that. Did they, Phantasma? The only major thing you had to find was those tools. When you, you'd find certain tools to do better upgrades for your weapons and stuff. This game does seem to have a lot more notes and backstory than the first one. What's that? Uh, old to-do list. Known WLF agitators. The following people are our top priority targets of any anti-terrorist operations. Ooh, lunch in three. Getting close to break time, guys. Marcus Wilson, smuggling acts of terrorism. They haven't gotten him yet. Eisen Dixon, murder of Fedra officer, acts of terrorism, acts of sedition. Hugo Gonzalez, Allison Cole. I don't see any Abby yet. With the Patterson and Sanchez gone, Dixon has moved into to fill the void. He is now our top priority target. I've been wanting to make this quesadilla. We're almost, almost time for break. I wonder... I'm guessing burgers. I bet Andy's getting some uh, in and out, but I'm not sure. I don't remember hearing her leave the house. What is this? Come in handy. A machete. Have you guys seen that movie, Machete? It is ridiculous. That is a so terrible, it's very entertaining kind of movie. But it's, it's, it was made that way on purpose. For officer use or official use only, federal disaster. This guy was a Fedra commander or oh, something. Uh, they were losing to the WLF and trying to escape. How big is this group if they were able to beat the army? Well, you don't need a lot if you're that vicious. We uh, need to be careful. Mem <laughs> okay, Jesse. Are you done? <laughs> Memorandum for Fedra Central Command. Subject, Seattle Quarantine Zone comp Compromised. Attention, Captain Paul Douglas. Despite our best efforts, the Seattle Quarantine Zone will fall to the terrorist group calling themselves the Washington Liberation Front. We underestimated their capabilities and lost key sites around the city. We have executed our contingency plans and are prepping to escort key personnel out of the quarantine zone 24 hours from now. I intend to stay until the last of officer has escaped. Let the record show, I provide for the city and its citizens as best as I could. They are now freed of us and are at the mercy of the WLF. So they're just giving up and escaping. Um, let's see how they feed and shelter a community of thousands. Let them deal with the dissent among their own ranks. Let them deal with those religious fanatics. Inevitably, someone will come along and hold them accountable for all their perceived wrongs. I almost wish I could be there to see it. Lieutenant Carmelo Torres. <laughs> Ellie redeems, shut up, John, <laughs> so they can talk freely. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. That sounds like something therapy Android would do, like with the Samuel Gordon kind of thing. Oh, that was so classic. I mean, Samuel Gordon was actually in the stream. Um, Reminder, all items confiscated from suspects should be placed in the office lockup. Ooh, we would need those. 860722. I wish I had a camera. 860722. So we need to find that locker. Is that it right here? 
I think this is it. Eight six eight six seven eight no eight six zero seven two two. Zero seven seven two, is that right? Then two two. Okay, not seven two. Thank you, Max. Nice. There. No, you had it right. Nineteen pills. Very nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Back. I heard Jesse crying, so I think Andy did go to get food. I don't want to hint right now. I'm still exploring game. Give me a chance. Parking garage. Well, the gas is in there, right? Well, that's what the note said. All right, so we have well, to go down. Down there. Probably not using the elevator. So for the break, oh, I guess we will use the elevator. For the break, do you guys want to do battle mode? Or do you guys want to do that frogger type of mode where you have to get across all the obstacles? It's about time for break, guys. There goes Georgie. <laughs> yep, I hear the door. Okay, this is perfect timing. Before we drop down and possibly get in a very terrible situation, let's do this. You think battle mode is pretty fun? It's cool because you guys have more effect, I think, on what's going on in the game. So actually, I want to keep this scene open. I need to change my input real quick so I can see windows again. Open up game capture. Think battle mode, grill tomatoes. It's fun because there, there's more skill involved than the classic mode. The classic mode is, is great for newcomers that are still learning just even to how to move around in the game and figure it out, but I think battle mode is probably just overall the better game. We've played this game, according to Steam, 18 hours. Not too bad. Although it's kind of funny. Stream animals? Um, not stream animals, stream avatars. It's technically a Steam app, and we have a ton of hours in that game, like over 200 or 300 hours, because it's always on when I'm streaming. So at any time, I can just bring them up like that. <laughs> Tashi, I'm on auto either way. The one thing I do like about stream animals is there's no real problem with lag. There should be enough time for everybody to be able to interact before the turn's over. All right, let's do this. Battle mode enabled. Now, if you've never played this before, it's very simple. You just type in exclamation point J to join, or you can type in any of those animal names right there. I get to join by... Uh, automatic. Actually, am I a panda? I think I'll stay the panda. But you can pick any of those animals. Um, and then in between rounds, it's going to tell you at the top right what commands you need to do to either attack players, to move around the map. It'll let you know what you're doing at every point in time. And you also have a power-up next to your name right up there. If you're not sure what that is, you can just type in exclamation point my power-up. All one word. Kind of like that. And it'll tell you what you have. So I currently have Stinky drops a 3x3 three three stink cloud that makes every animal jump away two cubes. So that'll let you know if it's a good time to use an attack to like push other players into the lava. All right, guys, I'm going to go have some lunch and I will be back in just a few. See you in a little bit.
Alrighty guys, last game. Oh, we're down to two players already. Wow, this one went quick. Phantasma and Grilled Tomato, the battle of the Autobots. Isn't that what they call that group in Transformers? Autobots and Decepticons? But yeah, no in and out I thought it was in and out We actually had um, Panera Bread, and he went and got that. So a bit healthier, had like a little sandwich and salad. Not, not bad. Which is good, because Andy is planning on- Oh, Phantasma! Nice! With the electricity attack. Congratulations, Phantasma. Let me check the scores real quick. Where are we at here? So, if we look at the leaderboard, I missed some of it today. For today, Daily. Oh, Max won two games. Nice, and Phantasma won the last. So where does that put you on here? Max is currently fifth place with two wins. So that was actually your first two wins, Max. That's awesome. And Phantasma, that was your first win. So you're tied with everybody for sixth place. Nice. And actually, Max, you had mentioned earlier that you were on auto and you didn't even realize that happens to me all the time. Like, why are they not listening to my directions? Honestly, if you type in a direction and you're on auto, it should automatically um, just do it. You know, just automatically take you off of auto. I don't know why you have to do that on your own. I think what you've won in Phantasma is um, the regular mode. I think the classic mode, you have some wins, Phantasma. It has a totally different leaderboard for battle mode. Alrighty. You guys ready? We're about to drop down that elevator shaft and see what happens. Now, I had plans to maybe do something else on the later half of the stream, but... To be honest, I kind of want to get through this game um, in a reasonable John Cadia time. Because, for one thing, it's a pain in the butt dealing with spoilers. On the other hand, we have people that have to actively not drop in because they're just they're going to play it on their own and they don't want to see the whole story. you know. And I totally understand that. So I think we should probably push through next week with the long stream Thursday. And I think I might take some time off work. We might uh, get some extra time in this game. That was the first time you won in any mode. <laughs> nice. Hey, there's a first time for everything, right? Alrighty. Let's do this. More of rope physics? Is that what this is going to be? Hey, what are you doing? You're just pushing me around. Okay. Also, I want to... She's going to push me again. She's going to push me right off. Another thing I want to tell you guys, um, just as an aside, I'm planning on uploading some stuff to YouTube that is not just VODs. I think I'm actually gonna stop doing that because that kind of content is just not very suited for YouTube. It's probably pretty weird to be watching one of those and seeing a conversation that you're not really a part of. So I think I'm gonna stop doing that. I actually wanted to post some game reviews on YouTube. And I'm, I'm working on one right now. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but on Discord, I'll probably put a little funny teaser as to what it is, as I edit it and I have some footage, but it should be cool. Also, because I play so many random games, it'll be cool to review and have some more highlights on games that we enjoy that maybe not a lot of people know about. Careful. Is more rope physics. She pushed you once out of hiding? Oh no. <laughs> Dina, be nice. Oh man, I'm remembering that elevator scene from the first game. I'm a little nervous this whole thing is going to crash on us. I'm still trying to learn when the game wants me to button mash. Shit! Oh crap. This is bad. That's a quicker. 
Reload, reload. Cool. I do have this. This does a lot more damage. Let's get a headshot, guys. Nice. Okay, that's Jesus. pretty gruesome. I think that's all of them. But check out how it pools in the Those water. Those guys never even made it out of the garage. Damn. That's new. That gas. Holy cow. Curse you, Dina. <laughs> yeah, it's time to push you down after the Molotov flashlight bullying. <laughs> Dina's just getting revenge. Hey, what is this? It's like some oil we can use for, uh... Crafting? Is that what that is? I thought the AI was just taking too long. I mean, that's true. The game's just pushing you like, go on. Go on, it's okay. And then you get killed. And that's true also. Like, I was trying to debate, do I try to surprise you guys, Max? Or, like, if I was going to switch games midway through? And that probably wouldn't work out too well. Because I know a lot of the folks that know they can't make these streams. If I change in the middle, it'd be hard to notify them. Hey, we're doing something else, you know? So I'll probably just do a dedicated stream if I'm going to do that. But I might wait until this game's over. Just so we can try to get it done and out of the way so people can freely join again. There we go. Now she can break some windows. Now, I know you guys were telling me when I first started that breaking windows is a lot of fun. Is there anything useful doing this? Like, am I ever going to find ammo or something in one of these? It is fun, but we're not getting anything. You did find some ammo? Nice. Oh, I totally forgot about the in-chat censorship. So, did somebody, before we go too much further, did somebody let me know on Discord what n words we should probably blank out? You know, names and variations of names. I totally forgot about that. Let's see here. Sorry, in trying to do that, I screwed up my screen. <laughs> A vandalism achievement? There might be one. Funny thing, I would not be surprised if they had one. There we go, now I can see this. Um, so I don't think we have a nice list. You know, I'll probably do that after stream. I'll, I'll hit everybody up on Discord, and um, we can just kind of come up with our own list of names and things and variations of leet speak names just to block. So we'll keep pushing through this one, but for the next stream we'll have that implemented. That's the way out. We don't need to do that yet, I don't think. Hey. Leave She's like, I'm not going to help you. We have to get gas first. Oh yeah, are you in the Discord, Phantasma? I'm trying to remember. Um, you can even just post it in the suggestions channel if you are. And currently we have invites to the Discord disabled, but we can send you a custom invite if you wanted to join. And eight. Come on. We got gasoline. Nice. Our luck's changing. Yeah, suggestions would be the us. best. And then other people can post other ideas there too. The fuck Fedrigate is calling. Oh, to there us. we go, Tajay. Nice. Uh, it's kind of cool having, like, code names as well, you know? Like, our little initials and things. That'll be fun. Our own little secret language. Dina, coming. Now she's actually going to help. She'll hold it open or something. Come on. Okay, 
Let go. I feel Not like good. we did that. Thanks. So many times in the last game. Oh, that was cute. Do you see that? Okay. It's a good job, Wait. babe. Could be a while before we run into Abby and her friends. It might be worth grabbing some supplies before we press on. Good point. Okay, she always says that. Grab some supplies. Is that a hint? Are you trying to tell me there's something really close to here? I'm always trying to find supplies. Recognize anyone? No. They're too old. <clears throat> the group that came to Jackson would have been kids. For a second there, I thought that poster was Ellie. Emma Patterson. Which we read they already got her. <laughs> Wasn't Joel all about coffee? <laughs> Kidding me? He'd trade half his stuff for a bag of beans. <laughs> I never got it. Tastes like burnt shit. Thank you. I love coffee. Acquired taste, my ass. But I didn't like it when I was younger. I definitely had to acquire the taste. The game is like, John, there's stuff. Go get it. Oh my god. Shit! Watch it! Watch it! That was cool. That poor infected, you just Yeah. Quietly taking a dump. These places. I don't know. I hate that shit. We interrupted him. He was in here. Ew. You need to go see a doctor if your bathroom looks like that when you're done. Ooh. What's this? Barcos? It's Barcos. Another shop nearby? Maybe a... Oh, wait. I could have flipped that over. Hold on. Let me look at that again. Yeah, pet store key. Wait, that key looks like fireflies. Is that a firefly symbol? Maybe it's my imagination. I think she did just m mark on the map when we discovered that place. I do too, Max. I do not drink coffee black. I have before. Oh, but I, I prefer it with creamer. But still, I like to be able to taste the coffee a bit, you know? And that's a good point and funny thing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times I do that, especially when I'm streaming. I want to keep the momentum going, but you really do have to stop and pick up some stuff once in a while. Big blue. Look at that whale. Brains 100, brawn 80. That might be the most powerful card we found yet. Sweet. Thank you so much, Phantasma. It'll be interesting to see the trolls confused, you know? I want to see how they react. Hey, I found a key. It says Barco's on it. Might be worth checking out. I'm not entirely sure how the blocked words work. Like, does it just not happen and they don't even see that they're blocked? Or does it tell them that they can't say that? I don't know how it works. Hey, Davis. Check out the old WLF safe houses for supplies. Probably a long shot, but every little bit helps. Grab what you can and meet us back at Saravena. Don't worry about the gas. We'll take care of it. Mike. I got the gas. Ooh, quesadilla is made. So what do you put in your quesadilla? Funny thing. Is it uh, meatless or do you have chicken or okay. something in there? We got what we need. I forget if you're a vegetarian or not. I don't think you are. I think you eat fish a lot. Now we're getting all kinds of gears. Um, we should probably try to do some updates or upgrades. Hmm. Let's make another health kit. Make a Molotov cocktail. That was really useful before. Um, let 
We need binding, blade, and a melee weapon. We don't even have a melee weapon. Okay. Oh, crap. I'm holding the Molotov right now. It's on fire. That's very dangerous. Put it away. It's a very satisfying smashing sound. <laughs> Pantry ingredient quesadilla. I like that. Cheese, pickled carrots. Oh, nice. From a jar of pickled jalapenos. So a little bit spicy then. That's nice. Um. Oh, I should check the map. Let's look at that pet store real quick. I think I have to hold down the button. There we go. Mm, right about there. The question mark that's not crossed off, that's probably the pet store. All right, let's get on the horse. <laughs> you right, Tajay? Just toss that in your pocket. It'll be great. Onward, shimmer. That's one case where... There? Getting homesick? A little bit. You? Uh, same. Miss having a roof over my head. You know, I've always dreamed of fixing up a farm just outside of Jackson. Just a sec. Why wouldn't you stay in town? I don't know. I like the idea of real space. Sounds lonely. Only if you're doing it alone. Okay. Hmm. So are we gonna, like, raise sheep and milk cows? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no. It actually sounds kind of nice. Really? Yeah. Really. I like their bonding scenes. This is cool. Um, that's one case, Tajay, where you don't want that much realism in a game. <laughs> Imagine her having to spend time lighting that Molotov every time you pull it out. I guess th what they could have done... Come on, Naughty Dog is she actually has to light it real quick, which that could just take half a second, but then she could put out the fire before she puts it in her pocket, you know? Like, just kind of like, you can even just grab onto that flame, just quickly douse it. Wouldn't be too bad. So this is not the pet shop. This, this must is, be the music shop. This is something else. Man, imagine this place when everything was intact. They got a bunch of records here. The sleep habit. The sick habit. Close enough. Uh, okay. We only listened to it like a hundred times together. I was only listening to it because I thought you were cute. Aw. We found a guitar. Now, remember, Ellie had a guitar for four years, I think? At the very beginning of the game, Joel gave her a guitar. And then I think there was a four-year gap. I've kind of... I forgot how to do this. have to follow the light. Oops. Still way, way better than I could play. song Joel played. What was that? Nothing. Hmm. Well, nothing sure sounds nice. 
Remember that night by the bonfire? Yeah. Uh, welcome, Kyle. You me Good then. to see you, dude. I wanted to. Me too. All right. We should keep moving. Yeah. You should keep that guitar. Um. So yeah, if you could, Kyle, if you could remind me on Discord about that, I need to transfer your tokens from one name to the other because that doesn't happen automatically. I want to be sure you get credit. But that's awesome, dude. Cool new name. That's v Variant Heal Al or no, Varian the Alchemist. There we go. That's like Variant Heal? No. Varian the Alchemist. So you can practice and I don't know how to do this, but I've I've seen some little clips on Twitter where people can play like real music with this thing, where they would learn kind of how to do the notes properly, and then they would sing along with it. Really cool. What an interesting mechanic. That's true. <laughs> it's definitely, I mean, the sad part is we probably use it as a melee weapon at some point, Tajay, and that'd be so sad. Oh, and Brian's playing this too. That's awesome. Gosh, imagine all the spoilers in poor Brian's channel. When you have a channel that big, oh, it's got to be every five seconds there's probably somebody spamming spoilers. All right, let's see what other kind of supplies we can find here. Oh, can we play drums? That'd be cool. I could play drums in rock band. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, somebody came and smashed all these drums. Yeah, I mean, he can't read it. Just their mods have to be so busy. Just ban, 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 ban. Oh, I appreciate it, Kyle. <laughs> Yo. Check this out. Yeah, I'm sure that their mods can handle it. Oh, wow. That was... 
That was an interesting beat. Excuse me. I am a natural. It's just a full time job. I love you. Whatever. <laughs> das Wart. How about you be my groupie? You're what? Well, okay. Fans apparently had these hardcore fans that would just follow them around. Isn't that what I'm already doing? Kind of. Uh, I guess so. Mm -hmm. And it helps that they have so many mods, too, you know? All right, we didn't find too much in here. A few little things. Hmm. Okay, I think we're probably done here. I don't think there's anything else in here. I like this map system. This is interesting. It's kind of cool. Okay, so we still haven't actually gotten to the pet shop yet. And where the hell's our horse? <laughs> I think we took a different exit. I think this right here is probably the pet shop. Oh, that's really cool. So they programmed it in a way that there's constant, like, chord progression, which would sound nice. What is that? Is that a kitty? Kind of like a cat. And just like that, it's gone. No, now I'm on the other side. Here, we have to wrap around this building. It looks like a UPS truck. Oh, I think we left our horse right around here before. Now it's gone. Is this like Witcher where you can press a button to call your horse? Because my horse has like kind of done its own thing. Oh, it just follows you. Oh, there he is. <laughs> nice. What was his name again? I've already forgotten the horse's name. Okay, there's the music drop. Shimmer. Thank you, Phantasma. Okay, so that the pet shop should be right. Oh, I bet it's this building. I wrapped around the wrong building. It should be like right here. Right? Yeah. So we have to find an entrance. We're not looking for anything in particular. Arcos. Hey, isn't that the key you found? Except that we found a key. Natural pet store. Better than an unnatural pet store. Okay, so we probably need the key just to get in this delivery door. Thank you for automatically using it. Oh shit, I got it. Let's see what we got in here. I've heard that happens to people all the time, funny thing. Which, that makes you think you probably need a better prescription, right? You don't even realize you're wearing your glasses. What the hell is this place? Some kind of WLF something. Bear your fangs. They think we're sheep. There's some propaganda. What is that? WLF propaganda. Yep. Join the Reminds Washington. Me of fireflies in Boston. Liberation. In New Mexico, front. we had these guys called the Ravens. Protectors of the Constitution, they called themselves. What was their deal? Ex-Fedra types who thought Fedra had too many rules. They ran protection rackets. They took multiple wives. Great dudes. Ugh, yikes. It's hard to yeah. say, Max. I've heard people that just sing songs on YouTube get DMCA takedowns, but it's their own voice doing it, you know? Now, I think they can fight it because it is, like, transformative or whatever, but initially the bot is, like, I guess, smart enough to even tell that it's the same song and still bust them. Which, gosh, AI is getting way too smart. What's this? These are plans to hit a Fedra convoy. This place must be old. Hey, we got another yeah. spot on the map. I don't think anybody's been here in years. We could take a look. Looks like they measure out or cook drugs in here, huh?
You know, I kind of have a feeling, Max, that because of all the free downtime with the um, virus going around, that's kind of what is making people notice Twitch more, you know? I wonder if without this whole thing, if all this DMCA stuff on Twitch might have come much later. It was going to happen eventually, but I think this kind of fast-tracked it. What is this? A flare gun? Oh, it's a holster. Nice. Heck, yes, we're going to equip that. Goonie and Ghost would have loved this. So now we can swap between two weapons, I think. Nice. Um, who? <laughs> they were these feral cats I had before I came to Jackson. But they didn't seem to want to leave with us, so... I miss those scratchy little shits sometimes. Oh, that's any sad. Tips? Nah, it was never really my thing. Hey, Cathara. Well, maybe when we're done with all this, we can get a nice little creature to take care of. <laughs> all right, deal. Pets are awesome. It's going to get to a point where you're just thinking about doing a video, and they, uh, they hit you with a copyright strike before you even do it. Oh, we found some pretty cool stuff. I think that's pretty much it in here. I think we're done. There's another WLF sign up there. I think we got everything here. And it's only going to get better, Max. As time goes on, they're just going to keep getting smarter and smarter, you know? Come on, Dina. You nervous at all? About? After everything we found out about the WLF? Yeah, only two deaths. Seem more organized than I expected. For me, that's good. Doesn't change anything for me. Just means we have to be more careful. At least they don't know we're coming for them. Exactly. We're gonna be okay. I know. All right. We should get back to the fuck Federal Gate before we lose the day. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Let's see if we can find those WLF at the Seravina. Get back to the fuck Fedra gate. Here's another WLF sign right here. Let's see what's in here. We're just playing on normal, Kathara. I'm definitely no pro player. I'm, I'm pretty average, I, I would guess. Um, when we played The Last of Us 1, by the time I finished the game, I had like 26 deaths. <laughs> Probably two-thirds of those were due to There's clickers. Back here. So my goal is to try to come in under that number. Probably won't happen, but you never know. Oh, here we go. Another safe. Use gate code. Oh, wait. West gate 2? We have that. Um, West gate code. Where was that one? Here we go. 0451. Oh, wait. I used, I was looking at West... Yeah, Westgate 2. Okay, 0451. Have you played this game, Kathara? Luckily, it doesn't matter how you turn it. It just works. A lot of gears. A lot of pills. Clean this place out. And a flow trading card. Hey, Alfredo. What's going on, dude? Welcome to the stream. What are her abilities? 90 brains, 80 brawn. Not quite as good as that whale, but not bad. I want to see a card with zero and zero. I haven't either, Phantasma. Yeah. I appreciate it, though. I do like having simpler puzzles. <laughs> Because it doesn't really enhance the gameplay at all. It's just more manual labor to open it up, you know? Hmm. Really, the clue is you have to know that you have that note to look up. Which, I imagine if you missed that note. I'm guessing you probably could miss it, and that would suck. Okay, so I think there was one other question mark we have not checked out yet. Right there in the middle. 
Oh, last time you watched this at night and you had nightmares. Oh no. So let's hope your voice helps me, my subconscious, to stay calm. I have heard that quite a bit, Kathara. Either my voice is soothing or sometimes I put people to sleep. So if you get nightmares, I apologize. <laughs> oh, there's 10 places in total. So we found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess. So we're not doing too bad, Alfredo. Um, I guess I need to turn around. It's the opposite direction we are looking right here. So let's go down this way. I'm trying to do all the optional stuff, but I'm also trying to keep the pace going, you know? Getting close to that hotel. Where are we? It looks like it's down in that freeway area. It's all destroyed. There's something down there. I wonder if it's that truck. It looks like we might be able to go down this hill. Have you already beaten this game, Alfredo? Or are you just in the middle of playing it? All right, we probably should not take the horse down there. But there was something right over here. I'm thinking it's the truck. Ew. Oh. This guy was an officer. More Fedra officers. Traveling in a ration truck? Oh, you've already platinum it. Maybe. Nice. Unsuccessfully. Yeah, sure looks that way. How many hours did that take you, by the way? If you, I don't know, does the game even count your hours? I'm not sure. I heard this game is longer than the original. Everything is in place. We will be waiting. Once we intercept the convoy and take the Fedra officers captive, you can abandon your post and join us. I know you've taken numerous risks and lived in fear of being discovered. Your loyalty to our cause is appreciated. About 25? That's that's not bad. For me, it's kind of funny. Some Sony exec, I forget his name, recently said he kind of wishes games were shorter. You know? And I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> but that's because I'm old and I have very little free time. So I love games around the 10 hour mark. Like a really good story, good pacing, no fluff. I'd much rather play a 10 hour, um, really well paced game than a 20, 25 hour game with a lot of, um, I guess you'd say padding to make it longer, you know? Even if the gameplay is good, it can still feel it overstays its welcome, I guess. So 30 hours to beat the game and the rest was five. That's not too bad, Alfredo. To do all the extra stuff in five hours, that's pretty quick. That's some cool looking water. So now, this is kind of funny. Um, everyone has all these new talking points for the new consoles, like ray tracing and all that. A lot of people don't really know what ray tracing is. One thing ray tracing does very well is reflections. And you can tell this game is not ray traced, at least the water, because the horse right there, the horse has absolutely no reflection. You can see like that truck right there kind of has a reflection, but it, it's sort of faked. The horse has no reflection in the water. So that's something in the next generation of consoles they'll be able to do much easier. Not every game will do it, but you will see it more often. So, so near the bank at the beginning part, you can find a ring. Is that at that Fedra gate? Because we have to go back there pretty soon. It is very taxing, that's true, Max. And it's gonna depend on how they, how much of an emphasis they put on that to actually take advantage of it, you know? And hey, Dingo, what's going on? How's it going? Speaking of taxing, how's your PS4, Dingo? Is it working or is it being overtaxed? I don't know that I've ever even played a ray tracing game yet. I have a RTX 2080 Super. PS4 is dead to me. Oh, Jacob. You have such bad luck. That sucks. I'm so sorry to hear that. I've got two PS4s. So far, I've never had any issues with them. What if the consoles can get COVID-19? I didn't even think about that. Maybe that's what happened, Jacob. And issues with the replacement. Oh, jeez. 
What, you know, actually, I remember that. When you mentioned that the second one was having the same problem, the first thing I thought is, I think you might have some power issues with that wall socket. Like, if it's not a good current, it could be shorting out the PS4, which, when it loses um, power like that, it can have all other kinds of problems. Let's see, the third block at the bottom. You're talking about when I get to the beginning, right? Let's see here. So we've crossed off all of our check marks. I think the next place that she wants to go now is the Fedra Gate. She mentioned it earlier. Yeah, my launch PS4 is still fine. Um, I don't use it all that much, but it's in the living room. And my pro is here in my office, a man cave. And it, it's loud, like I can hear it, but hopefully you guys can't hear it. And it, it's working fine. I don't think I've ever had it crash on me. Oh, see? Yeah, it could be something like that, Dingo. Like what happened to Phantasma. One PS4? Things happen. Things are broken. But two PS4s? Mm, that makes me think it's something else. Okay, I need to get up and over this. I'm on the wrong side. Oh, you get a gold trophy, you find oh, all ten? That was an adventure. Nice. I am the opposite of, of a trophy hunter, hey, Alfredo. It's a big city. We barely started looking. Yeah, I know. Just thought we'd see one of them by now. Nothing wrong with hunting trophies, that's awesome. I usually just, when I hit the credits, I usually move on to the next game. I just have too many games to play and not enough time. And you've been a Nintendo girl, Kathara, but I'm excited for a couple of games coming to PS5, so probably going to get one eventually. It's I'm probably going to buy two PS5s. I'm going to try two at launch, if I can. They might put a limit on that, but I need one in here for streaming, and I need one in the living room for when I play games out there. I don't want to be moving it back and forth. That's not great for the hardware, to be unplugged and plugged in all the time. And uh, depending on how expensive it is, we'll see if I can even afford it. <laughs> two? I have... I only have one Switch, because it's portable, but I, I have two different docks, which the docks are like 80 bucks. I have two PS4s, um, two Xbox 360s, two PS3s. I usually have two of consoles, because I play them in different rooms. Okay, so this is where you were saying third block from the left, um, right, Alfredo? Although I don't know what I'm looking at, as far as blocks. Okay, so we got the gas. We gotta follow this and put the gasoline in the generator. Oh, that's... Oh, we have to follow that line. It goes up here. There we go. And honestly, if I have the choice, I will always buy a game on Steam now, or PC in general. Um, because I know it's always going to work for the most Here part, and even if Windows does an update that breaks it, modders will find a way to make it work. Generally. All right, I got it. Where the code. I'm still still a little bit salty that. Hey, these old generators are pretty finicky. So it might take you a few tries. Of... Oh. <laughs> she got it right away. Nothing. I'm always salty when games are not backwards compatible with the next console. But with Steam, you hardly have to worry about that. I could play Doom on Steam from 1993. It works fine. Wolfenstein from like 1992. You can just stick to a game like a cat with a scratching post. That's a pretty good analogy. I like that. The only games I do that are games I play my wife with my wife. Like uh, we've been playing still Don't Starve. I've been playing Don't Starve for a long time. She's still into it. Oh, I didn't look at the code. Just a sec. I, I've been thinking about getting a second Switch. Because my, my original Switch, it's Andy's now. Because of Animal Crossing. I've basically lost all access to the Switch. So I've been thinking about getting a second one. One they're easier to find. Just so I can play games. Because I've been wanting to play Zelda. One of the Zelda games that... Um, what was the remake? Link's Awakening? I wanted to stream it. I can't even use my Switch. 
I'd be taking it away from Andy for like five hours. She won't be having that. Wait, wrong menu. <laughs> you were upset about GTA 5 on the PS5? Why would that make you upset, Alfredo? Just because you don't want um, them to re-release it again? Okay, let's do a health upgrade. How did I miss this? This is the one I've been waiting for. Okay. Notes. Checkpoint gate codes. So, this is... Which gate is this? Are we on the north gate? 1382? I don't even know what gate this is. East 2. Okay. East 2 is... Five, three, four, five. I've never played the original Link's Awakening. I've had the game since Christmas, so I'm very excited to do that. I already forgot what I read. John, you can't have a conversation and play the game at the same time. <laughs> My brain can only hold so much. Let's see here. Thank you, Relentless. Um, East suit, 5345. What happens if you get this wrong? I could do something terrible. It worked. I'm a huge fan of the Zelda oh, games, too. No welcome to me. Or they're just waiting for us. It's a trap. Let's look for a way in. Keep an eye on those windows. You know, I think Grand Theft Auto V is now the like one of the best-selling games of all time, as far as like uh, revenue. It's ridiculous. So I can see why they would do it, but I will say that was probably the most uh, unimpressive part about the big PS5 reveal. It's like. That game again? Okay, I'm, I'm sure some people are really happy. I don't play GTA 5 online. I enjoyed the single player. I wouldn't play it again Wolf. on PS5. I get it. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that just explodes relentless. I was thinking maybe an alarm would go off and then a bunch of infected come out. And the GTA community was upset about it. Oh, you know what? I think they just want a new game by now, which is totally normal. I mean, it's been seven years since the original came out, right? Hey, we just got a new Last of Us. Why not a Grand Theft Auto 6? Although they just, they made Red Dead Redemption 2, so they had their priorities. Oh, that's funny, Max. That happens so often in games. Like... I could see even people that are reviewing it, that'd be easy to miss, you know? Oh, Minecraft is number one. Wow. What is going on in there? I bet um, GTA 5 has made more money, though. Just because it's a more expensive game. And there's so much DLC and that? stuff. Infected just hopped that fence. I did not see that. Oh, means we can get in that way. Shouldn't we hear gunshots or something? I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're supposed to go in here. You won't be getting it on launch day, but about a few years later. That's the... If you can wait, Alfredo, that is always the best thing to do. Because the prices do drop, usually within a year or two. So you can easily save a hundred bucks doing that. Yeah, I think this is the right way. East 1. I wish it was quicker to get to this piece of paper. Oh, it's crossed off. Hmm. Trixie game. Can I read that at all? I, I see a three. It kind of looks like two, three, four, one. But I'm not sure, for, sure if I'm supposed to be able to read that. It's very faded. I think it says 2341. Let me try it. Trixie Yapitis. You have a code for this gate? I'm not sure. Let me try. I think I could read it. Come on, game. Aw. 
No, we have to find the real code. I don't think I was supposed to read that. Or am I supposed to turn this on first? No, not yet. Okay. So we probably have to go in here. Yeah, that should have been put, Max, like in the middle of the presentation. The very first game, that was kind of unnecessary. Okay, so we have to jump over this. No game, I don't need a hint. I'm, I'm a full-grown adult. I can do this. Oh crap. I need a parent. Where are they going? They're going in there. Would you like to have super baby easy mode, John? Because it looks like you need it. That's happened to me on almost every game I play. Like, maybe I'm not even an average video game player. Maybe I'm very below average. I don't know. <laughs> it's gotta be called John mode. It's, there's like normal, easy, very easy, infant, John mode. They're just making fun of me now. Let's use our spidey sense. There's a few guys in there. One there, one there, one there. And it's, oh crap, there's a bunch of them chowing down. Um, let's make sure we got our Molotov ready. <laughs> make sure our guns are all loaded. She is so good at that. Gosh. I'm really excited for Cyberpunk 2077. I don't know if I'm going to stream it, because it's probably going to be like a 70-80 hour game like The Witcher. But I do really want to play it. Whoa. 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 Who sees me? Oh, you see me. Crap. Right through the fire. There we go. Great stealth job. That's that. Thank goodness for Molotov cocktails. That worked out pretty well, actually. And the new Spider-Man game, very excited for that. I streamed the original PS4 Spider-Man game. <laughs> stealth Master strikes again. <laughs> At least it wasn't an eel, right? Oh, and Resident Evil 8. I am praying to the Capcom gods that it is in VR as an option and VR on PC. Because I would love to play that on PC. Hey, Wahab, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, dude. I'm just failing at stealth. Resident Evil 8, I'm I'm very interested in it, and I'm very confused at the direction that Capcom's taking it. I, it's almost... 7 is almost like a complete reboot, and 8 feels completely different than 7, like with werewolves, and it's all gothic. It's kind of interesting. Hey, Alfredo, thank you for the follow. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I like different stuff. Um... To be honest, Resident Evil 5 and 6 started to get very, very stale, you know? Ugh. That's gross. This one's fresh. And he's got one of those wolf patches. Oh, so they just they got attacked in here. Gas after all. That's good, right? If those fuckers who killed Joel got taken out by some random infected, then they'd still be dead, Ellie. Ellie's not I'm happy. I'm sure that's justice. Ellie wants to do Might it with as well her bare grab hands. What we can while we're here. Which is understandable. All right, John, you don't have to keep staring at his intestines. Is that a new weapon? No, it's just ammo. Yeah, it's like seven was kind of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And eight is much more of like a American Werewolf in London. <laughs> I don't know what you would call the vibe, but I am very excited. Um, I don't think we're, I'm necessarily trying to 100% it, Wahab, but
but um, let me know if I'm pronouncing that correct, by the way. But trying to get everything that I can reasonably find quickly, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to find a balance of moving the game along, but also getting a lot of supplies, but not trying to 100% it. I'm very bad at 100%ing games. Seven on Madhouse was really hard, though. I bet. Alfredo, did you ever play Seven in VR? It's still one of my favorite VR games of all time. I did it! <laughs> it's very rare that I pronounce a name correctly the first try. Very interested, though. Look at these golden doggos. I need those around my fireplace. One of Gus, one of Jesse. Put a Georgie up top. That'd be amazing. Here's where the game wants me to go. <laughs> what a terrible lock. You just break the glass. They've been shot. You recognize him? No. Maybe someone else killed these guys. The infected just wandered in. Yeah, so why would they have been... I mean, there was two different groups. There's a WLF, and then there was the initial group that was, I guess, controlling the city. Maybe they're still fighting. You want to play it in VR? It's really cool. Um, unfortunately, you can only play it on PlayStation VR. I don't know why it never... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know why it never came out to um, PlayStation or to the PC VR. Oh, two, this one. I've only done this once before. Okay. Let me know. Is this working Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice relentless hopefully it's working and we've only done it once before and I think it, the autotune should be working correctly beautiful oh your full name this is going to sound weird autotuned Abdullah Wahab which means servant of the bestower so my family just calls me Wahab I wish I knew what my name meant <laughs> just boring John Jonathan I'm sure there's more meaning behind it, like religious meanings or something. I've never really looked it up. I just know everybody has this name. John is a very common name, and uh, it also sounds like a lot of other names. Like if somebody says Sean, or Don, or Ron, or Lon, sometimes I'm like, what? Not gonna be. They're not. Sing for us. Ooh. What was that song? Um, take on me, take me on, I'll be gone for a minute or two. <laughs> I can't hit those notes, but it's such a great song. I'm glad they had that song in this game. All right. It's a good way to lighten up the tension of this game, too. Good call on the hey, auto-tune, Relentless. Found their gas. Well, if we need any more, we know where to get it. <laughs> that was great. Mwah. Good, because if you heard my real voice, you'd all be tearing off your earphones and leaving the stream. I'm not joking. Not an understatement. Okay, let's uh let's go upstairs. There's probably more infected. I don't recognize this one either. So this is a, a totally different group. Hmm. I don't hear too much. <laughs> nice grilled tomatoes. <laughs> Thank you. I need to have a button on my stream deck to make clips myself because I'm so bad about going back and making good clips. And they're perfect to share on social media. I just I never remember to. I need to be better at that. Eighteen pills. Hold on. We might be able to do an upgrade. We can. So listen mode movement speed. Hey, Hasifa. How's it going? Welcome back. Good morning. Well, for me, it's like 3.30. <laughs> what time zone are you in, Asifa? 
Oh, you guys are all about to clip it. Nice. <laughs> this is going to make me hear it in my seat. You probably got... You know what I should do? I should put a timer on this. Because I set it to only go for five minutes. Maybe I can make it also have a timer so you can tell how much longer there is. Only probably like two minutes to go or so. But I can't turn it off. 1.34 a.m. Oh my gosh. And it's 8.36 for you, Hasifa. Wow. We have people from all over the world in here. It's awesome. Oh no. I hit the wrong button. I want to read that. There we go. I want to read it. An auto-tuned. Saturday, March 29th. Our strike against Fedra checkpoint worked. Killed at least three of those thugs. Just a few wounded on our side. In the wake of our losses, it felt good to hit back. That night, we voted Isaac as the new commander. It was a contentious meeting. His summary execution of those prisoners still doesn't sit right with some people. But I like him. He can make the tough calls. Friday, April 4th. I'm fucking exhausted. But for a good reason. We've had eight new recruits show up in the last few days. And six are Fedra deserters. Isaac's directive is clearly fucking working. Hey, Heli Victory. Thank you so much for the bean band. <laughs> um... Isaac's directive is clearly fucking working. Sorry. <laughs> it's either that or all those flyers. People are talking, are taking us seriously. Okay, I think we went back to normal. Um, people are taking us seriously now. Finally seeing the WLF as a real alternative. We'll kick those fascists out and rebuild on the foundations Emma and Jason laid. That probably sounded pretty funny. <laughs> Being auto-tuned. <laughs> Thank you for the bean band. It's, it's very much, um, what would you call it? A blessing in disguise, like, uh, unintentional humor, <laughs> unintentional entertainment. Oh, it's almost midnight. No, yeah, almost midnight for you, Alfredo. Wow. Come on, goodies. I need more pills. Oh, did I miss a book? Was that downstairs or upstairs, Alfredo? And how do you remember? <laughs> My memory sucks. Uh-oh. Are they still alive? They're tied up. This is a good time to drink some water. What the fuck happened here? Tommy did this. This? No way. How would you that know? It's definitely him. He's one of the ones that killed Joel. Ooh. Never mind, he's dead. We're on Shit. Tommy's trail. There's another one over here. What does that say? I don't recognize him. Looked like that was a gate code on the floor. He was using them against each other. How? Joel told me about this. You ask this guy a question, but you don't make him say it. You make him write it down. And then you ask this guy. And if the facts match, you're telling the truth. That's clever. If not, you fuck him up. Yeah. Dang. We He's talk because we just experienced that Wahab. I'll Looks I'll tell like you in it. a second. Just 
just happened, though? He can't be far off. Yeah. I try not to talk too much during the cutscenes. I don't want you guys to miss dialogue as well. Um, so for that death... Come on. It was brutal and sad, me. but at the and same time... Yeah. I felt like it was completely justified for this group. Joel did some messed up stuff in basically taking all those people out at the Fireflies and um, basically screwing over humanity because he loved this girl, you know, and didn't want to lose her. So I can understand how this group, if it is the same group I'm thinking of, that these are the Fireflies um, going back for revenge. But I'm not so sure they are Fireflies. And don't let me know if they're not. This this group could be com completely unrelated, and there's some other history in the last four years that we don't know about. All we know is that they, they, they were hunting Joel. Oh, and um, Hasifa. I had heard about that game. Um, what was it called? That Not for broadcast? I hadn't seen any trailers or anything. I just kind of heard the idea, which sounds pretty cool. There's actually a few... Is it on sale during the Steam sale? There's a few FMV games I want to buy before the Steam sale's over. Okay, so the code is 73... I think it's 7302 we need. Oh, Grilled Tomatoes, you don't get it? So basically, if you were to ask someone, give me the combo to this room, they could just lie to you and tell you something wrong, you know? But if you ask two people that, and they give you different answers, you know one of them's lying. So you gotta torture them both, right? Until they give you the same answer. Then you know they're telling the truth. Okay, so there was a book that we missed, too. Me, personally? Um, Jake, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Um, oh, 50% off. That's a really good deal. I'll check that out. If you're blind, how are you playing? Wink. <laughs> you know, I, I, I've actually thought about that too. Not that question. Oh, I can't go backwards. Never mind, I can't get that book. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, it's just like a, like the term. I always thought first playthrough made more sense, but I've gone back and forth on whether I want to use first playthrough or blind playthrough. And I guess there's some different connotation between the two. First playthrough means I haven't personally played through it, but um, I might know about it. You know, it's my first playthrough, but I know what's going to happen, or I, I might know something about the game. Blind playthrough, I think, means it's your first playthrough and you know absolutely nothing about the game. Yeah, we can't go back. <laughs> what a bummer. M maybe we can just go back around. Yeah, but this is blocked off. I don't think we can go back at all. Uh, Varian, huh? we are stuck. Okay, what's a better weapon? I think we can do five hits with the machete. I think I'll hold on to that. Actually, Jake, also just mentioning echolocation games. <laughs> um, this game in particular, I'm kind of curious what it is, but I had heard that there is a blind person on Twitter that was thanking them for putting all these accessibility options. I don't know how that works, but apparently there is a way to play some of these games blind. Um, I guess through... Uh, maybe not 100% blind. Maybe if you just have really limited vision with text-to-speech and audio cues and stuff, they can probably... that can help you out? I'm not sure. Yeah, there'd just be no way to play it, right? Unless you'd played it before. Kind of like... Like, if I was to be blind right now, I could make my way around my house, because I'm familiar with it, you know? Um, I guess if you had played a game many times, you might be able to kind of play it just based on sound, to a point. You have to be very familiar with the game, though. Oh, I might be able to go back in there from the in, uh, from the entrance, right, Alfredo? I know you said Tommy had a rough pass, but fuck. I know. Are you okay? 
It wasn't pretty. I don't want you to think bad of Tommy. Ellie, if I had my sister's killers tied to a chair, I'd do worse. Yeah, I, I think you. they all would. Um, but I don't... I like Joel. Um, just to kind of go back to what had happened. I like Joel. He's not a good person. He's wronged a lot of people. He's done some really bad things. So, it's, it's kind of funny, but, um, everybody is good in their own mind. You know, I, I, I even a lot of villains. A lot of villains are actually the good guy in their own mind. Because they have their own motivations, you know? So... We think of Joel being the good guy, but these people that he slaughtered and murdered, and they're coming back for revenge, they are also the good guy. Yeah, a lot of times, especially in the first game, Jake, Joel would say, like, I've done some bad things. I'm not a good person. Okay, let's see if we could just get... Uh, oh, wait. I don't even think I can get back in there now, Alfredo. Isn't this where I jumped in? Right there? They took away my entrance to here. I don't think I can get back in. It's a one-way ticket. And and possibly just screwed humanity for selfish reasons. Yeah, in the first game. <laughs> I don't think we're going back, Alfredo. Okay, so where are we going next? We went to the gate. We're going back to the gate, is that right? And spirit swoosh. I think the point in this world is that nobody are good guys. They're all just survivors. That's a very good point. Yeah, and and everybody's going to think they're the good guy, but you have to do bad things to survive. Nobody survives here being completely nice to everybody. A lot of times it's me or you kind of thing. Okay, here's the gate. We're on the other side, right? Oh, wait! Why is it still circled? It's this other gate. Now I'm remembering. We just got the code. I forgot the code. Did she write it down? She must have written it down. The gate was right over here. I'll probably pass on that, Alfredo, just so we can kind of keep the game moving. But I appreciate you letting me generator. know. I should have done that before oh, I went in that room. You remember the code? The one written in blood? Yeah. Okay, she knows the code. Thank goodness, I don't have to remember it. Yeah. I actually, th I actually really liked it. Like, I mean, not really liked it. Like, yay! But it was brutal and probably justified in a lot of senses, you know? This might come in handy. And it didn't feel cheap to me. I know a lot of people are going to say it feels cheap. Oh my gosh! Just a second. Very end. Thank you so much for the subscription. Oh my lord. That is three. No, four months. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, variant. I didn't realize I wasn't subbed. <laughs> well, you didn't have to do it, but you did. And I really appreciate it, my friend. Let me drop a token for you guys. So everybody new to the channel here, um, everybody that follows, you get one of these little avatars here at the bottom of the screen, and we use them for mini games and different things like that. As you watch the channel, you get 10 tokens, every, or you get one token every 10 minutes you're in here. And also for certain events, we drop tokens that you can jump up and grab to get some extra ones. Nice catch, Max. And you use said tokens you can customize your characters you can change their colors change their outfits give them weapons things like that you can also use the tokens to play sound effects in the stream and if you save up a lot of tokens i mean a lot you can actually request a game for us to stream which that's happened like 10 times or something so far and you were shocked for a good 10 minutes but it had great cinematics great emotion and a great narrative sense even from the first game i, I would agree with that and it was Happening so soon, you know, I think it was a cool shock and it, I won't really be able to give it a proper analogy or analysis until I'm done with the game. But right now, I think it made a lot of sense on how they did it and when they did it. Got it. And 
And I got this. Now, oh yes, smooth playthrough, yeah. I will say, I understand getting attached to characters, never wanting them to die, but at the same time, it, you get a layer of plot armor. Maybe somewhere high up. You know what I mean? Scope out the area. I like that idea. Okay, let's look for an open building, preferably with no infected or WLF. Just a sec. Wolves. Whatever. <laughs> I still have some of those almond things left if you're hungry. No, not really. Almond things. You should eat something. Oh my god. What? I sounded like my mom just now. <laughs> you should eat something. I'll be fine. Um, yeah, plot armor. So a lot of times, this happened to me in The Walking Dead. Did you guys like that show? I haven't, I'm not caught up, but in the first few seasons, it felt like there was a lot of stakes because you didn't know who was going to die. Nobody had plot armor. And then once you got to like season four or five, they had these characters that were so popular, they couldn't kill them off. They didn't want to. So I never felt scared when they got in trouble. You know, I knew they weren't going to die. They had way too much plot armor. And um, similar things happen near the end of Game of Thrones as well. So the fact that they could do something like that. Really <laughs> See, lack of plot armor. Get the other. Don't I like that. Go. Oh, our horse. <laughs> Now I'm gonna have to kill them all. Somebody's gonna die. Hmm. <clears throat> Was that guy from that original group? He kind of looked familiar. I'm not 100%. To be honest, I wasn't really paying attention to a lot of those people. Didn't think I'd ever see you again. It is. <laughs> How'd you find us? I asked about a dude with a bitch scar across his face. Mm. It's fine. <laughs> Oof. How many came with you? Hmm? Just you two? You can't stop this. Jordan! We're supposed to be out looking for the other one. What the fuck is this? You know the smuggler that we killed out in Jackson? Yeah. This girl was there. What? They're coming after us. That's why Nick was fucked up like that. We gotta get her to Isaac. We gotta tell him exactly what's going on. Yeah, well, I just got off the radio with Isaac. And we got a new mandate. Kill all trespassers. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. It's direct order, man. No, let's talk to her. Let's figure out what she I, knows. I don't give a fuck what she knows. You saw what she did to the others? You have no idea how many people she might be with. This might be an ambush. I don't care Mike. how many people she's with. We will find them and we'll kill them. Can you just think for yourself for a quick Jordan, second right now? Get out of my way. I thought she got captured too. Get out of there. Oh, this is intense. It's gonna end badly for him. that later. Was there a TV station on that map? I don't fucking know. Come on. Fuck, Ellie. Oh, man. 
Yeah, a lot of people hated the idea of the first game too. I love the idea of the first game. This is gruesome, guys. Let's go. How many guys did you see? Enough. We gotta get the hell out of here. You wish it was more gruesome? It's... Especially with the new consoles and stuff coming out, it's gonna get to the point where... Who knows if they will have to tone it down just because it gets too realistic, you know? Survive that. Look at that bullet hole, the way it landed exactly where I hit. That was crazy. I think there's only one left. Oh, crap. Oh, behind me. That was tricky. <laughs> How am I doing on health? We're about halfway dead. I saw you walk that way. Crap, there's another one. Nice. Thank you, Dina. You good? Yeah. You recognize any of these guys? No. I, I would say I understand people being upset, Joel, what happened to Joel, but I think story-wise, it makes complete sense. So I, I don't hate it. Yeah, I often forget to do that, Wahab. I mean, I wasn't trying to be stealthy right then, but I forget to do that all the time. To be honest, um, when I heard all the hate for this game, I thought it was going to be some political stuff again. Like, if people were upset that there was, you know, uh, like a homosexual relationship in the game, or maybe they did something to some dogs that people hated, or like animal cruelty or something like that. But if it was just like, you know, your favorite characters getting killed, if it makes sense for the story, come on. And, and there is, and that's totally fine because that's the characters, you know? Like the way they introduced that in the first one, I thought they did a really good job. People are shocked to maybe see it in a triple-A game, but get over it. It's just people. Okay, do I have any weapons to swap out with? That's the same gun. Dang it, I only have the one. Wait, I don't have to be prone, because we're in the tall grass. Shut it. <laughs> that was great. Shut it. And it's, I don't know. A lot of people, if you don't pander to everything that they expect, they get upset. You know, it's, I don't agree with it. It's ridiculous, but people are always going to do that, unfortunately. You just learn who you can tune out. It's like, alright, don't have to listen to you, because... You just always think these things are wrong, for whatever reason.
not every game has to be made for you, you know? Don't. And me, being a straight white male, I've had plenty of games that have characters that I can identify with. I think it's amazing that they make a game with different kind of characters that others can identify with. And it doesn't make it any less of a game for me. Okay, there are way too many people that jump up and stab somebody right now. I need them to split off. Oh, there's another one over there. Jeez. I'm going to reload my gun real quick. And that's a really good point, Phantasma. It just says a lot about the industry and everything, right? Games like... Her, or what was it called? Um, Gone Home? Holy shit! Oh, crap! God, God damn it! That didn't work out for me at all. Oh no! <laughs> There's my next death. <laughs> Dang it, I was staring at somebody else and somebody came from the side. I was not paying attention to my surroundings. That's three. Um, but I was going to say, a game like Gone Home, I don't want to say gets away with having... Um, and it probably got some flack, too, for it, you know? For having a homosexual characters and whatnot Everybody depicted. But... Great. For the... Oh, did I, I think I'm back at the beginning. I don't know. Search the courtyard. For the most part, this game gets more flack because it's a big AAA game that everybody's interested in, you know? So it's going to get way more hate than normal. But it's still really stupid. Alright. I think this is where I started the last one. <laughs> Quiet! And stealth patience is a virtue. Plan your attacks. Divide and conquer, but be careful for enemies near your position because they can spot you. You'll learn very quickly in the stream, Wahab. I am terrible at stealth. We even have a funny clip of me making a joke. And then, yeah, I'm just on normal mode. I got these first three guys just fine. And then another group comes down. Oh, that's a little bit harder. John is the stealth master. <laughs> Especially when I say that. It just makes it even better, right guys? You know what would be cool? Is if the corpses, how they they push down all the grass. What if that made it hard for you to sneak around that area? That'd be kind of clever. Okay, while they're funneling down, I'm going to get some distance. So they don't flank me again. Let's try to take out this guy. He's kind of all on his own. Dina! You're right in front of him. Oh, crap. He's turning. Ah, he turned right into me. I'm going to die because I forgot to heal as well. I'm out of ammo. Protect me, Dina. I'm trying to She's heal. Oh. Did Dina kill them all? <laughs> Except for that one that I got? Fuck, there's a lot of them. Oh, I lost I all my you. ammo. Dina doesn't give an F about still. Wow. Alright, no ammo? Come on, guys. I know you had guns. You guys should have something for me. Nothing. Okay. Oh, I mean, that's... That's one way to take care of it. Probably not the most efficient, but it worked. Thank goodness. There's some ammo. Or not. What was that? Oh, I grabbed a healing item. Nice. 
Anytime I try to pick up supplies and it says you're full, that's my cue to start crafting. So what do we need to craft with that? Wait, I need to bring up the crafting menu. Yeah, I miss the bow, Jake. I really like the bow for stealth kills in the first one. Okay, let's make another one of these. This worked pretty well when I got in trouble. Those work great on infected. I think I'm going to save everything else. Oh, wouldn't it be better if the story mode is played by multiple people and they work as a team? So do you mean like co-op, Wahab? Like, um, like how Resident Evil 5 and 6 had a co-op story mode? Or are you talking about um, it's better because we have Dino with us? I personally think it could be fun, but um, I think it would take away from the tension and the intensity. Because just, just for me in general, I love the old Resident Evil games, just how spooky and isolating and lonely they are. But Resident Evil 5 and 6 and co-op, while they were a lot of fun, to me personally, it took away from a lot of the tension and horror of the game. Yeah, there were still jump scares and monsters and things, but because I would play it with a friend, it made it more exciting, but it wasn't as scary. And I like how intensely just... Some parts of this game are scary, but a lot of it's just intense because you're all by yourself trying to be stealthy. And I think with two-player co-op, it would be a different kind of fun, you know? And I don't think it would work in the game's favor with the tone that they're trying to have. And I don't know if I've played a game co-op that I thought had a really good story, except for maybe a way out. And I haven't beaten that game. I played it a bit. And that seemed to do a co-op story really well. But the entire game was based on you playing it in co-op. You have to play it in co-op. You can't play it by yourself, really. I'm pretty sure that game has to be played in split screen. In, in that case, it makes a lot of sense. Not saying it couldn't work, and it would be, I think, a different kind of fun. Like, if this game had co-op, I would probably play single player first and then do co-op later, you know? Right, I guess we're done in here. Oh, it was also not online co-op. That's right, Phantasma. You could technically play it online, but you would have to do that screen sharing function that the PlayStation has, and I think you could do it on Steam as well. Where you basically stream the game to your friend, and they play player two, just as if they were sitting right next to you. Which is such a cool feature. Technology's awesome. Have a look here. What'd you find? Fuck these wolves. Steal their shit. <laughs> nice. That's what she's trying to tell me. There's some more supplies. What do we got? Anything? Oh, no. oh crap. Over there. Ellie, get down. Oh. oh, this is cool. We can crawl under There's things now. Adrian's control. Fuck. Hey, you two. Trespass was gone. What? You seen anything? No. Cover this roof. I'll check over here. Good time to load all my ammo. Sure, she's not uh, on the street. Did you look? How would she get down there? I don't know. Has this been called in? Greg went out to Capitol Hill. He should be back with those. You guys hit under a bed. Room. Nice. That's what it feels like, right? So I think we're just supposed to. I mean, maybe we can crawl in between these, but use these as our stealth to sneak up behind these guys. Is there anything down there? Okay, so right now she's looking that way. I have a cat on me. Lucky you, Varian. 
I do not have a Jesse on me. I usually do when I work from home. Jesse will be on my lap for hours. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Just shut up. get down quick. <laughs> it just jumped on your lap just as you're about to get up. Kitty's like, no, you're not. You're not going anywhere. I'd be curious to try VR co-op, Hasifa. I've never done a multiplayer VR game. I know they exist. I've just never tried one. I will say, though, Wahab, I am kind of biased against most multiplayer games. I just, I just don't play a lot. If I do, I usually like to have a friend in the room next to me. I always have more fun that way. I'll play some games online, but not my preferred method to play. I've heard Dead by Daylight's really good. Where did the other two people go? Did they just leave? I feel like they're just gone. I think Dead by Daylight's on sale for like eight bucks right now. <laughs> Poor Max urge to buy Rising. I like the music in the, in the game. Do you hear that? Like if we're really quiet. It doesn't push itself in the forefront. It's just this nice little boom, boom, boom. And then every once in a while you hear like a horn. Very threatening kind of music. All right, what do we have here? Got a note, all kinds of goodies. From here on out, kill all trespassers. We'll send additional units to locate the other woman. Return to FOB by EOD. Bring all available supplies. Now, there was another game kind of like Dead by Daylight. Um, Friday the 13th, I think. And then they just came out with a Predator game that also seems kind of similar. I don't know if you guys have played those games. Um, it seems like Dead by Daylight's probably the best. And I like the fact that it has so many different um, characters from other franchises. Like, they just came out with Silent Hill DLC. I love Silent Hill. However, it's all paid. So, like, to get the entire Dead by Daylight experience, it's probably like 100 bucks now. Not that it's not worth it. I just mean, there's a, there's a lot to buy. All right, looks like we have to go this way. I should maybe turn my light off. Oh, it's locked. Crap, what, about what did this? I miss? Well, Let's hello. Try it. Ooh, I do really want to play. I want to play the classic crashes as well. Um, to be honest, Max, I've only played the crash games for maybe a couple hours total. I've never beaten any of them. I remember renting the first one back in the day, and I think my little brother owned two and three, and I played a little bit of them, but it'd be cool to actually play through the original, what was it called? Reignited, the trilogy? Or was that Spyro? Maybe Spyro was reignited. But yeah, play through the remake, and then try the new one. Of course, it's going to depend on Insane Trilogy, that was it. It'd be cool to um, see how the reviews are for the new one. If it does really well, I'd be very down. Oh, I like Green Man Gaming. They have some really good deals. I also buy a lot of games off of Humble Bundle because I'm a I'm a member of their monthly deal, so I get like an extra 15% off whatever the other sales are. We gotta get away from this school. Now. There has to be a way down the street somewhere. What do you mean you have to get away from the school? Don't you want to murder them all? Or are we just trying to find Tommy right now? I know, now they have hunting dogs. That's a problem. <laughs> Imagine Gus as a hunting dog. He would just find Ellie and just kiss her to death. Geronimo! Okay, I was hoping that was right. The detail 
in all of these little rooms is just astounding. Everything looks very lived in and realistic. Oh, Toys for Bob is doing the new Crash game, and they did the Spyro trilogy as well. Nice. It, honestly, I do the same thing with movies. I'm always curious who's making it, like who's directing the movie, because to me that's the best measurement of what the quality is probably going to be like. We need to get to the street. And my advice for finding some cool movies you might not have thought of. Don't pick an actor that you really like and look for all their movies. Pick some of your favorite movies, look up who the directors are, and watch the other movies they've directed. You'll find some really cool stuff that way. Oh, I think there's going to be a lot more trigger warnings. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Cheering because I feel like celebrating. Woohoo! Dingo! Oh, look at that. <laughs> there goes Jesse. Thank you so much, Dingo. Let me drop that token for you guys. I love these new emotes, having the dogs run around. I want to record a lot more of them, so you guys never know what you're going to get. Spirit Swoosh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Joncadia. You haven't seen Shaun of the Dead? That is a great one, Max. That's. I think that's still my favorite movie that he did. Nice catch, Hasifa. I think that's my favorite Edgar Wright movie. I love Shaun of the Dead. Hot Fuzz is really close up there too. <laughs> I was robbed. The coast looks clear. The timing is hard, Jake. Yeah. I think we're good. All right. Check this out. And finally, look at this stuff we got. She's one of them. Mm. Well, fuck her then. <laughs> Read the letter. Jordan, Isaac's got us posted up on a two-week at the TV station. Scars spotted in the area. Here's something to hold you over, Leah. TV station. You think she's still there? We gotta find out, right? So, let's buy all these tall buildings. That's a problem. That way. Okay. Let's go get Leah. I think I did find the map then. Can you miss the map, Jake? And just not have a map for the rest of the game? I kind of thought about that. Like, there's some clues that I found, like, I feel like I could have just missed that. And by the way, for anybody not sure where the emotes come from, they're all my wife and I, our dog. And uh, that is Jesse on the left, Gus in the middle, and Georgie on the right. And you see them all the time for um, just different, uh, what do you call them, notifications that happen in the channel. They're super great dogs. They all made a visit when that big sad event happened earlier on in the game. There they are, funny thing. Actually, what I did, Max, is that's three separate videos all combined into one. I, I did not get them all to do that at once. That would have been pretty much impossible. <laughs> no, I, I definitely cheated with that. So it's I green screened all three of my dogs separately and then superimpose them onto one video. Actually, originally I had three videos playing, but it was too much for my computer at the time. It started to start to have problems. Um, however, I got a new computer recently, so it probably wouldn't have that issue. But now it's one video, so it just works better. It's kind of funny though, if I stay on that scene for too long, every once in a while you'll see one of the dogs kind of click into place because the videos looping, you know? They weren't all exactly the same length. But it's fun to do. I love to do green screen things like that. Yeah. I thought I was fucked back there. Uh, thanks for the save, by the way. Of course. <laughs> Let's be stealthy. Wham! No ammo in there. I just so, want to find ammo in wolves. one car. 
They're really armed. Yeah, they are. Do you think there were gonna be this many of them? Tommy said this was a possibility. Does that change anything for you? No. I'm trying to hold the button down. It's not working for me. Why can't I bring up the map game? <laughs> did, did I lose my map? Or am I not supposed Keep to use it anymore? The patrols. There were a bunch trying to smoke me out around here. How many? There we go. I passed two, but I got a feeling there were more. And once they realize we're out of the school, and that we killed their fucking friends, they'll be out in force looking for us. So we're not in downtown anymore, are we? I think we're done with that. And we don't have shimmer anymore. We are horseless. I can't believe they just attacked like that. These people are not like us. What if we'd been refugees? What if we, I don't know, had intel they needed? It doesn't seem like they care about that. <laughs> it is kind of out of place, isn't it, Grill Tomato? And thank you, Max. Yeah, getting that video of them running was a little bit tricky. Um, for the lighting and everything, because I have this big green screen covering my whole wall. And it's also draped over my futon, which is when you see the dogs jump, that's what they're jumping on. So, of course, there's going to be creases in the green screen when it does that, and it's tricky to get it just right. Actually, I don't know Alfredo. I heard he got banned yesterday or the day before. I have no idea what the cause was. It's crazy. I've heard people saying it's a permanent ban, which sounds real bad. Okay, I gotta say, that water looks amazing. Even when it's just, like, still. That just looks really cool. Now, does this game do the same thing where... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, is she gonna look all wet when she gets out? I loved when Uncharted did that the first time. Yeah, look at that. That's just so cool. Video games are awesome. I feel like it's something really bad, Jake. I have a feeling that if it wasn't anything too serious, Dr. Disrespect would have already said something, you know? But I bet he has to talk to lawyers. He has to do all kinds of other, you know, stuff to mitigate too much damage to himself. Uh oh, there's blood going in here. What happened in Tina. here? Fresh blood. I'm ready. I think they might be infected in here. Yeah, it could have to do with all that phantasma. It's been. Why are people such garbage? I don't understand it. How hard is it to be a decent human being? I can promise you guys, however long you guys hang out and watch me, it's never going to come out that John did this and that and this. <laughs> no, I would never do that. I don't understand it. Why do so many people do that? But it seems like it's so prevalent. It's weird. And it's kind of like everywhere, too. Up the stairs. Oh, no. First, I got to loot everything downstairs. It could be a power thing, Phantasma. <laughs> I only feed wine to fake babies. <laughs> That's about the worst you'll see me do. I'll do terrible things in video games, but never to a real person. Oh, crap. Oh! <laughs> Dang, he came out of nowhere. I was looking the wrong direction. Got him? Yeah. I didn't take too much damage. Shit. Oh, my heart's racing. Same. That's cool. Just a little scene like that. It could be something like that, Alfredo. However, I think he would have already announced it if it was something like that, you know? I probably see too much Twitch drama because I follow so many other... Oh, is that better or worse? I have three more hits. I want to keep the machete. I like that machete. Um, 
I follow so many other streamers on Twitter, so I, I see a lot of this Twitch drama. I had heard Tim the Tatman said he contacted Dr. Disrespect, and even he was trying to find out what was going on. So I don't think it's a move to Facebook or anything. And I think Dr. Disrespect in the past had said he would never move because he doesn't have any reason to. Of course, you drive a truck full of money to someone's house, they're going to do that. Which, not that that's bloody likely, but if somebody gives me $10 million, yes, I will go to YouTube or Facebook or wherever. <laughs> it's $10 million, guys. Come on. Anybody would say yes. You use that money and you do something really cool somewhere else, you know? That's <laughs> sellout. <laughs> $10 million. Come on. Oh, got to feed the dog and water the plants. Be a little while before you return. Oh, good luck, variant. Enjoy hanging out with the dogs. Hopefully, we don't have too much longer. I actually have to wrap things up pretty soon. Unfollowed. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, Wahab. Yeah, they're like snipers almost, right? Oh, not at all, Dingo. That's so sad. Why do people act like that? It's ridiculous. Something keeps bugging me. Why didn't they kill you and Tommy when they had the chance? I don't know. It seems reckless. Maybe that is kind of weird. Maybe. Why wouldn't they kill us? What? Oh, just very sorry. Could be that you just weren't who they were looking for. So they let you go. New name. Oh, yeah, well, they did beat the shit out of us. Still learning. The one guy, Jordan, kicked my face in. Yeah, but why do you think that they didn't finish it the... It doesn't matter. They fucked up. They did. And it sucks because it makes people not want to talk about it. What was the name right, of the Phantasma? The, the one in the TV station? Leah. Was she the one... Uh... Is she the one with the braid? No. Only thing I remember about her was the sound of her crying over that sadistic fuck's face when I sliced him open. So, Damn. how do you want to handle her? Find out what she knows. Find out where the others are. Go from there. You gonna ask her why they did it? Yeah. I want to know why they did it. I'm not Any entirely sure it's just... Jogging memories of stuff Joel said about his past? Fireflies. Hmm. Nothing new. What are the chances he did stuff that you don't know about? Hi. He wasn't, um, wasn't very big on sharing. I wonder what Tommy's making of all this. You probably know more about all the people Joel crossed. Hmm. It's cool how realistic and big this area feels. It also makes me unsure about where to go next. Hey, welcome, Ga Kamashika. You finished up before you did and you came back. Nice. They, oh, Amazon literally treats its factory workers like slaves. I think it's pretty stupid that Twitch is actively going against sexual harassment. It's almost um, a little bit hypocritical, right, Jake? It's like, we'll do this for the community. We're, we're not going to do that, though. That goes against our bottom line. I mean, some progress is any progress, but you still wish they would just be better, you know? What are you doing with that? In all it's aspects. Stuck. You want a hand? No, I got it. Dang, Ellie, I don't think I could do that. Look at the size of that thing. Now what are you going to do with it? I'm thinking we're supposed to come over here. Oh no, that's awesome, Dingo. And honestly, uh, it works for two things. Let's see. You get to vent and kind of get a little catharsis out of that and let us know what's going on. And we get to learn, which is great. Because, I mean, I don't experience 
quite a lot of things that other people have to deal with. So it's, I mean, I always want to be an ally, but I'm never really going to understand what a lot of things people go through. So I love to hear, hear real stories from people that I know and kind of just learn more. Oh, did you take a different path, Jake? Did I do something different? <laughs> yeah, a little too smoothly, right? Although Ellie... Don't mess with Ellie. I could see her doing it too. Whoa. Wolves. Where? Shit. I don't see it. It's up over there. there. <laughs> Marco, Polo. Okay, they're right through that entryway. That's why they could see me. That's neat, though. Having all kinds of options to progress. <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Alright, hide. Hey, maybe they'll forget about me. I should have used my R1. I forgot all about it. Okay, I'm in stealth again. They don't know where I am. Oh crap, there's somebody up there too. Oh, if I, if I try to get this guy sneaking, the guy on top's gonna see me. Yep. Take him out. Oh. Behind the bar! Crap. Oh. Ooh. That was close. Oh, he ducked at the right time. I am the stealth master, guys. I like the AI. They do a good job of kind of trying to flank you from time to time. It really keeps you on your toes. See, like, they know where I am. And they're probably being much smarter than me right now. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice shot. The way the gun is moving, it's kind of hard to aim. Oh, he's right there. Dang. I think that might be all of them. The music stopped. I don't think so. Good. It's a small detail, Shit. but I like how she grabs the ammo out of the weapons. You recognize any of them? Instead of just picking up the weapons. None. Man, this QZ is huge, right? It's pretty massive. <laughs> Streamer by day, stealth master by I night. I sure hope not. Let's see, Dingo, it's really hard being trans sometimes. You've been called every sort of trash word under the sun. I'm so sorry. People are garbage. But this is the first time where someone has physically grabbed me, oh gosh, in a way that should have gotten him fired immediately. Absolutely disgusting. And what sucks is, like, that kind of behavior where bad things happen and you talk to authority and then nothing comes of it makes you people not want to speak up. You know, because you feel like you're just going to get it worse if you do talk about it, which is not how it should be at all. Like people are going to be crap. There's not much you can do about that, but you should be able to talk to the people in charge and get things taken care of, you know. And it becomes way more of a problem when that things don't get fixed. But it is also really heartening for the situations when people are coming out, even if it's online, and changes are being made, you know? I like that. You don't want people to have to resort to that, but what other choice do you have sometimes? 
especially when you have so many examples like here even that you guys have dealt with where you realize you, you tried and nothing happened anything in here just halloween stuff oh this reminds me of the halloween Some store from the dlc looking. i'm not a fan that's so sad. She is a fan. She loves this stuff, but maybe she doesn't now because of what happened to Riley. Like, she was really enjoying this in that first game. That's pretty cool. A lot of times it's not the greatest fix but you just have to surround people or surround yourself with people that understand you and accept you and just try to stick with them as much as possible you know because a lot of times at work you don't have too much of an option but at least you can put yourself in a safe space as much as you can So terrible, funny thing. And, and what sucks too is a lot of it. It can be hard to have like some kind of physical evidence, yeah. you know. Don't do it, man. I think I saw someone. No, you didn't see nothing. Come on. Go. I'll watch your back. <laughs> Shoot. Get down! Oh my gosh! Where did she come from? Oh, that's an infected. This is all kinds of bad guys. Okay, let's heal up. We do have a Discord, Wahab. Um, if you want, you can shoot me a message and I can send you the link because we had some problems with some trolls coming into discords and just spreading some bad messages. So we don't have the link active, but one of our mods could send you the link or I can send it to you later. Unfortunately, that link is not working right now because of said problems. But when we've chatted with you for a little while and you're an actual cool person to hang out with, yeah, no problem. We can send you a link. But oh, no, where is he? Right behind me. By the cover. <laughs> oh, I want to dodge. My bad. There is a clicker right behind me. Run! I can hear it. Thank you, Tasha. <laughs> Dang it! We were getting so close. Whew. Okay, this is probably a good time to pause. To take a break. Oh, man. That was intense. That's going to be a tough scene. I just, I failed at the stealth again. I jumped into that store because I didn't know where they were. And they were in the store. Awesome. <laughs>